There's an eagle noise in the middle of the song. One of these days we'll get DC in there, guys. Welcome to Dope Up and Dying, this Sunday morning smoke show. <laughs> in the intro, the bro? morning? No, he's not. He's been <laughs> here for a lot longer than the intro existed. Um, it's going to carry over to the TV show, too. This is the morning <laughs> coffee of comedy, the round table of fuckery. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. To my left is Poppy Sanchez, <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. Thank you. I appreciate that. Young Bob Lee told us, uh, those one of those deals. How you feeling, Kev? I feel, I feel great. Feel good? I feel good. New new position at your new job? New position at the new job? Hey. Really? Yo, bro, I'm a vibe at this By the job, way, can I say something hilarious? Congrats. He has a sales job. Not he had. Had. <laughs> had a sales job. He was doing so bad at sales, they changed his position. And I found out recently, he went to a baseball game. I go, so who'd you go with the baseball game? He goes, oh, no, my whole company paid for it. I go, so your company just pays you to come chill? He goes, yeah, that's how much they like me. That and is they, good at failing. They won't, <laughs> they the right won't fire him. People will the right fail way. their way up the corporate ladder. Oh, yeah, it happens it. all the time. And I it, I ladder it only too. happen to white people, but it, it can happen. But you no, know, it's like if you're a diversity hire, they need Very 2022. Very 2022. Diversity hire, bro. I've been saying this. And that diversity hire you hear right here. You don't got to. And that diversity hire you hear right there in your ear is DC Williams. Yeah. Did anybody at your job go, so what are you? Did nah, they do they one know. of those? Did nah, they go, so nah. where's your no. father from? Uh, oh. They do one of those? You know, where'd I, you grow up? I get a lot of touches. Someone like called people you white start in the touching comment. me. Oh. People yeah. love touching me at yeah. work. You know that? Someone called they, you white in the comments? They, somebody called me white? Yeah. Yeah, these niggas is wild, bro. Oh. <laughs> Instantly proving he's not white. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm from Harlem. And I smacked the shit out you. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone said those two white guys. And those was, two whiteies. And I, Yo, I don't tell you something for a long time. For a very long time. You thought you were white? No, I uh, wanted to be. I used to be like, God, please. I used to pray for a lot God, of shit. Please. I, used to, <laughs> I used to pray for no shoulder hair. Ne don't got shoulder hair. Right? I used to put none. This is things I mean, I've never thought of. Yeah, that prayer, no back that prayer was not answered for me. Yo, oh, by man. the way, you do got some white ass forearms. I don't mean white as in color. I mean white as they in like, some, you look like you can move some hay with those. Yo, bro, listen, bail. country bumpkin out here, you bro. A, you got a country I'm bumpkin I'm, shoulders. I'm, I'm Dominican. My father owns He's ranches starving. in Dominican Republic. Uh, yeah. But I never met him. Um, he just found out it existed when I was 25 years old. But yeah, I got these country bumps and all. Your arms knew he existed. I prayed for I prayed for a big dick. Got that. <laughs> That's all he. You, you prayed really for prayed for no, a big dick. I did, and no, and no, um, no, no butt cheek hair. There's <laughs> a lot of hair. That's so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Just, saw a lot of people at the pools, and I saw my cousin's hairy, hairy butt cheeks, yeah, and I was yeah. like, "This is yo, not it." Yo. There was a chick, yeah. and she was a little stocky, but she was a little bit older than us, all in middle school, <laughs> and we all went to the pool. And then someone goes, yo, look at her ass, ass hair. And when she got out of the pool, it was like her, her thing was up a little bit. And instead of like sitting there and enjoying like a thing full of ass, you just like zoomed in because no no yeah, one was zooming in. Are we talking like cheek No one hair? was zooming in? Yeah. Like but like an otter, like smooth when it comes out of the water. <laughs> you never seen like, like shiny. It, bro, it looked like it had like a, a layer of film. Like the water just yeah, slid off shiny. it. Everything else was wet yeah. except for her butt hair. Like that's how beavers stay dry. Like yes. <laughs> that's, that's, sometimes girls have ass hair though. You that's insulation. That? Yeah, that's fine. Like Guys. lower back hair. Like, you never seen that? Oh, yeah. Hair? I've broken up with a few. Just what? Yeah, a lot of Dominican girls be having uh, hairy butt cheeks. I said that they do. Puerto, Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans that have the yeah. Italians. I always thought about that. Since I'm Italian. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm a hearing dude deal too, with it. but it's, I don't know, man. Ever since elementary school, this girl named Highland, second grade, I always wow. looked at her arms. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not joking. She was fat. I thought she was cute, but her arms were always, and they always stuck out to me. I was just like, I don't understand why her Yo, arms hit her up right now, bro. No, no, I can't. I don't even know who this is. I think my girlfriend like has a unibrow that I've never seen. <laughs> oh my god, she's Puerto Rican a... and Palestinian. So oh, it's coming, oh, that's a bro. good, that's a good combo. She maintains she, herself. No, but she, you know, she keeps, you know. So yeah. I don't know what the natural state is. You see, you guys are on, like, I'm from South Florida, so I'm really used to like waking up to the sounds of like, um, like someone doing the lawn, like, vroom, like, the, like the little sound. Is that what you hear every morning when she's just doing her eyebrows? <laughs> just, like, we don't stay together, sounds. so I don't know what you know. There yeah. might be that little. I can tell you, bro. My my ex was half Pakistani, so <laughs> it was, <laughs> like they they get fur, they get a little furry. But if they maintain it well, it's she gets whack. She gets the whack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Every dude knows at least one girl in their life where they're like realize that girls have a 
some girls can have a lot of hair. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has like that one memory. Some girls just do a good job at keeping it down so you never see it. But if you're with her, you're going to see it. There's going to be days where you're like, oh. We, we had a hairy girl listen yeah, to this yeah, podcast yeah. who's out now. Like, she was waiting for a reason to not like us, and I think she's out now. Probably, probably. I used to make my ex shave her chest. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Wait, that needed wait, to come up? Wait, wait, like the neckline down? Like, what are we talking about? Like to the belly button? Like how far? Right here? She had the pads right here, I bet you. <laughs> she I did. Know, <laughs> by the way, that's kind of funny because I only have hair that starts here. It just starts as a diamond yeah. here and just goes straight down. Take off so your shirt. I, no. And I just imagine <laughs> no. that she just has that in between her no, titties. No, 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 But it'd be just, funny if she did. I, see, I, I'm basically wearing, like, thermal underwear underneath this. So, like, I can't. <laughs> the idea of, like, trimming anything doesn't yeah. even make any sense. You don't want to trim anything? No, I mean, I know what am I going to have? Like, uh, what bare you, balls I, surrounded by hair? I can't fucking shave my whole body. As I get older, I let my pubes ride out for a little I'll bit. I'll tell you what. As a guy who lost his his hair, you know, I lost my hair at 21. I started going. I had long, yeah. curly hair down to my shoulders. How many jobs involved. did you have? What's that? How many jobs did you have? What, why what did you, you ask that? I don't... Just stress. Like, most oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, it's not. Like, it's one thing. Because now it's, like, cool to yeah, have a shaved head. When right. I started shaving my head, like. It now, was racist. Now I go into a bar and I'm like, who the fuck? Why is all these fucking ball guys in here? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't want to see, like, other ball dudes. Joe Rogan, yeah. man. But when I started doing it, it was a little like, bit oh. unique. But. Like I came to peace with losing my hair, but like the shoulder hair was like I, I was like really God, you didn't you didn't do me dirty enough. Yo, that yo, sucks. I, when I first saw that shit on a grown man in the pool, I was like eleven. I was like, you disgust me. <laughs> but you it's funny what? if you go back and watch like movies from the seventies and eighties, like Dude's James Conn. James Conn is fucking yeah. just Patrick Swayze bare sh- bare <laughs> shirt. Yo, just when like I was fucking... a kid, this is so stupid. When I was a kid, I couldn't. I started getting like armpit hair, and I was trying to think in my head. I go. Do people shave their armpit hair or do they just let it grow? Yeah, I have to shave it. I get And I was bro. sitting there, dude, and I was and I couldn't imagine. So, I watch a lot of TV. So I, I started thinking pr- about I all my favorite of... characters. And I remember even in cartoons, big dirty trailer dude has armpit hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, what's the other side of that? And then I thought of 007. And I was like, no, 007 does. I don't feel like he has armpit hair. He doesn't? He, he does. Shaves. He's, He's metro? He doesn't shave. Bro. He might be metro, right? <laughs> Sean Connery is a yeah, pretty hairy guy. Hey, 007 bronze, seems yeah. metro. Also, He's young, very metro. Seems metro. Guy. Daniel Craig is like wax. Sean Connery also So I shaved my hair, age. and that was a terrible decision. Really? He's wearing a wig the whole time. He's James Bond. It wasn't a hair implant? Or? I mean, he's wearing like a two-pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. James wearing, Bond wow. has a fucking Sean landing strip. Sean cool voice. Yeah, he's got a You remember when landing strips were a thing? Like like chicks would wear like low rise jeans in high school and you could kind of see the landing. Whoa! The, the start of the I didn't land. go to high school the same time. I went to public school. I don't know. <laughs> you guys went to the public fuck? school? Yes. <laughs> no no no. I remember. I remember, remember this. Right? I, I remember about? this, y'all. It was wild. It was a thing. Those girls used to get kicked out of school. They used to have to go to alternative schools, <laughs> like because oh, yeah. they all got pregnant <laughs> by the teacher. This this I, I grew up. I grew up in a rough. I, I went to like elementary school in a rough area, and a girl showed up to fourth grade with a hickey. Wow. And the teacher pulled her aside. She's like, my boyfriend gave me that. And the wow, teacher's like, I don't man. even know how to deal with this. Yo, bro, a wow. lot of, Your when I was in junior high school, pregnant. I've been talking about this a lot lately, where like, I used to think I would have to compete with, uh, for the girls that were in my junior high school with other grown men. Because they will have like 24, 25 year old boyfriends. boyfriends and I thought I was oh, yeah. normal. They would pick them up at school. Like he thought I had to deal with it. Like, no, you were. You were actively, <laughs> you were, you you were, right. you with you were actively you losing. Because uh, it just comes down to does he have a car and does he not go to school? So it, it seems like I'm cooler and older and shit. What's you know what wild I mean? is that they used to like, nah, they didn't have cars. This is New York City. They used to just come by and buy the Mr. Softy milkshakes. Oh Yo, God. bro, they had like that 225, bro. That's all it took. They're just waiting outside, just stirring up. <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy. This, girl. Yeah, that's you know they're and those are the same girls that are like doing trains and shit in school. Sometimes, sometimes yo, I don't know. Yo, I mean, I don't, like, just me, just me. <laughs> just me. Is that what I imagine? What do you guys imagine? <laughs> Back to you, Tyler. I don't know. Mount Vernon High School was wild, bro. I don't. Know, that shit was that place I don't know. was I don't problematic. Know why? Uh, People of color, we just run trains a lot in oh high school, God. yo. <laughs> Actually, he wait, just, I've never wait, been a part of it. brings everybody before. into the No, no, Spanish and black people, that's what we do for some reason. There, there was a story about uh, another school like when I share. was in high school. No, no. There was a school above us, and uh, and it was uh, North Fort Myers High School. Mm-hmm. And it was a big story that was like a 28 train. Like, this girl just stayed in the bathroom. And just like a fucking. This system. is white people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But so no, it's not just us. No, 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 no. The You're girl right. doing it was white. I mean, everyone. Everyone. You see what it. I mean? The Taylor? girl doing it was Italian. 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 The whole the whole team was like, I mean, yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I, re- I just imagine. I just remember just being like a little jealous. I think white people, I like, not in my school. I think white dudes do it later in life. We get it out the way early. 
right? Yeah, There's a lot of white you, cucks. I guess you guys don't intro your guests on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so the white cuck himself. We his, his intro was 30 minutes yeah. on running a oh. train with back hair. <laughs> Yo, we're still in his way. intro. Oh, that's <laughs> true. My he bad. just got promoted. By the way, this still is the intro. <laughs> this still is the intro. <laughs> Last time I tried, because uh, when, when, when I tried introing DC at one point, I got yelled at from my co-host. So I was trying to let it naturally go, but that's how good this podcast is, yeah, Peter. Yeah, it just flows. Yeah, I just couldn't flows even, right I couldn't even here. interject. Yeah. Couldn't, I'm a quick little... Oh, yeah, shit. You should have saw what I just saw on there. Yo. How, that like, shit was trippy as fuck. Because I yo. made it go so quick. Yo. Because I... Is so, this the future so, of the past? <laughs> <laughs> so, sitting across from me, Peter, how do you say your last name? Garachi. Peter Garachi. Yeah. What, uh, what's the name of your podcast? Kill You Last. Kill You Last. How long have you been doing your podcast? Uh, it's a little, it's on hiatus right now. We've been doing it for a few years, but we're going to start doing it again. It's an 80s action movie podcast. So we oh, do a different do movie every week. Uh, Alex Pichero. Nice. You know, this started as a movie watching podcast. Oh, did it really? It did. And then copyright laws are really annoying. Yeah, well, and, so we don't watch anything. We watch it individually and then come together. And oh, do so you don't sh- no one gets to see it. Yeah, we don't show. I mean, we did, uh, we did create... Like an intro that's all clips that we stole from movies that I'm hoping that one day Arnold Schwarzenegger's people are like, listen, you got to stop doing this. <laughs> we also made, I also made an intro with just all other people's stuff. And everyone, when I started doing this podcast, could have made at least a little bit of money. People are like, oh my God, aren't you worried? that I'm like, are you I kidding me? If, like, if Stallone is like, you have to stop doing this, then I made it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I can't yeah, yeah. wait for that shit How many to episodes have you done so far? Uh, almost 100. I think we're at like 95 episodes, something like that. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. nice. Why, why, why the name Kill You Last? It's a line at a commando, which is a Stro- uh, Schwarzenegger movie. I remember that movie. Okay. So I, I mean, I was always like I'm a movie guy. I wanted to do a movie podcast, and I nice. originally wanted to call it like Guns and Swords or something stupid like Glad that. Glad you didn't do that. And people are like, Glad "You're you terrible that. at naming podcasts." <laughs> and then my Guns little and swords. <laughs> my little brother goes, "Why don't you call it Kill You Last?" I go, "That's a great fucking name that for a podcast. A great name. It's yeah. a great name for a band. It's a great I also, name like, I was your little brother. It was so, so easy. You could have just taken the credit. I was just sitting there mulling things over. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He's. I mean, he actually. We actually had him on to do Commando, and that was a great episode. To actually, had my little brother to on. The, the movie Commando, not yeah. to be in the studio with no underwear. No, no, no. Okay. He was. He was home. It was, okay, gotcha, it was on Zoom <laughs> for the viewers. He might have been Commando. <laughs> I might be Commando right now. Holy shit! So many I, see, I, like, I like the wordplay. I like it. So what do you get? And to guys, it? sitting next to him. No talent, part. talent. We're gonna. We gotta intro you now. I'm sorry. We gotta bring the young talent. Yo, the man's so talented, it's literally his name, Talon Harris. And he's so talented, he looks like Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> that's how talented his name is. Look at his laugh. Oh, yeah, that's, true. <laughs> that's the first Yo, time that I've gotten that one. That's the first time? Yeah. That's crazy. Skinny, Jay-Z. Skinny ho, yeah, the young ho. You look like young Jay-Z, bro, for young sure. Talon, how you feeling? I'm good, man. I like good. Good. I'm level. Um, it's been a good week, you know. Uh, <laughs> is that your shit? I'm on spring break this week. Are okay. you in school? Um, I'm uh, I teach Monday oh, and Thursday. Oh, that's great. Yeah. God so, bless you, bro. <laughs> Where you teach? I, I mean, don't teach full time, but part I teach music. You so teach it's like me- uh, basic music theory, and I specialize in like uh, music production. Wait, are you in college or I mean nah. teaching colleges? Or? Nah, fourteen. Are you Black actually Jay Z? I'm Jay Z. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Fourteen year olds. The Rock. Yo, the Rock is real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I know Pretty you can good. do a Jay Z impression. I cleared lemonade. <laughs> Dude, I look at how went from you know no one's ever said that. Nobody's ever said I that with voice. But yeah. I thought about it. <laughs> My name is Hope. <laughs> but yeah, fourteen. They <laughs> just goes right back. These niggas are crazy. These kids, they're are grown. You, are you in a um, in a white school or urban school? It's in the Bronx. So oh, yeah. it's a, um, I do um, most. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday in the Bronx. It's a, uh, it's like a um, charter school. Oh, okay, so people oh, pay for that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be like some they get funding, so I think the kids that go there don't have to pay. You're but somebody kids like kids that got sent out of school. Nah, these kids are just like um, regular kids They're in like the Bronx. Gifted and talented though, right? It's like a, it's like you have to place into that school. Nah, he's like guys, you're not. not listening. Regular <laughs> as kids. Just this is just regular kids. Bad. Kids. Yo, these niggas is stupid. Bad. They're not stupid, yeah, but that's just, sure not bad. It's just a mixture, you know. Yeah. Some of them are, you know, some you got some smart kids, and you got your yeah. some Do of them are awesome. they're knuckleheads. Are you a comedian? <laughs> Have they found your stuff yet? One of the kids found me on Instagram, and I think I should block him because yeah. he just be coming to class like, "Yo, what was you doing up at three a.m., Mister Harris?" <laughs> <laughs> like on my story and shit. I'm like, "Yo, what, I don't know what you're talking about." Yo, there's so many teachers uh, who are thoughts now. 
on that IG, it's just like even, posting wild no, shit. Yeah. And I'm it's like, not even that their thoughts though. We just didn't know they had lives when we were kids. Yeah, that is I true. didn't know their names. Yeah, I didn't you, know anything about dude, my, them. The, the biggest thing of the year is when you get to see a teacher at like the grocery store. That was, yeah, that was even that is a, but like you know when they come in like I have a headache I'm not in the mood today or whatever they were fucking hung over but we didn't know that we yeah. were fucking 15 we just I like been, I was like 9 or 10 and uh, we had a sub yeah. and she was a knockout like mm-hmm. dressed to the nines and all the, like, the all the little boys were in the back being like oh my god did you see the substitute and she like does the role she does uh, like attendance and she goes Peter Garachi who's Peter Garachi and I raise my hand she comes running over and all starts this- blowing you no oh, oh, <laughs> no but like oh. It turns out that she was like my neighbor when I was a baby, oh, and like word. she knew my parents. Yeah. And so I'm talking to her, and like for years afterwards, I was like, "Yo, man, I really let that one get away." But I'm like, "What was I gonna do? I was nine years old. Like, what was yeah. gonna take out the 24 year old fucking?" She might still be into it. That's the weird part. I think I said this. I think you. I said this before, so I'll go through it quick. But one of the worst times I've ever had a game was my senior year. My English teacher was so fine. First first period of the day, she was so so just a cute That's girl. Really, I hate first period. And dude, she like one day we came into school, she was playing a movie and she was just at her desk like crying. And then people were like, oh, like her boyfriend broke up, like they broke up and stuff. And my dumb ass head is like, <laughs> I can Stop. be a new man, this guy. No, she needs an 18 year old. Oh my God. And like, she's like crying, like her like engagement's over or whatever. And my dumb ass is over there like trying to wait really slowly till after class. And then once everyone's gone, it's like, hey, you know, that sucks and tried talking with her. And then I remember leaving me and like, damn, that one got away. And I was like, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have stood out. She's what crying. What did she say? She, um, She's like. No, I just. Okay, I'm so she was in the. she. This is weird. But like we said, like they had like closets in like the classrooms. So she was in the closet for most of the like. The, the period just crying like in there just crying what a fucking loser yeah if I be a professional be a professional get what over that shit what a fucking loser <laughs> oh, right my at home. boyfriend left yeah. me in well, South I'm, Florida baby and she was cute no one cared she yeah. was yo everybody was like yo, everybody was lining up oh yeah, yeah. everyone was like oh my god everybody like how that, could man. how could he what an asshole the girls are talking like he's an everyone asshole everyone in school is like is my dad rich enough man can I yeah. have him <laughs> but, but it's also like if you're there you're looking like oh this bitch is crying in the school, in public, making a scene. This you're like, you're like, already this making is, bad decisions. Yeah. But this is Make why he one left. more. Yeah. You think she's gonna keep hooking up with a student quiet? Like, does this she sound like she's gonna be discreet about that shit? Nah, like, that's the other thing. She's not. You're gonna end up on World Star. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's very can't true. get fired from high school. So she was like, yeah. Well, <laughs> can you get suspended you for fucking the teacher? Fun. I think you can. Think, no, 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 no. That's you. a funny thing because I don't think you can. You've been victim. I think she goes yeah, to you're jail. the victim. Anytime they go, like, what, you're like, hey, are you victimizing? Eh, no, and they're like, oh, fuck, fuck. This kid but like, usually the kids God that get caught, He's they so snitch, cool. they like, they tell yeah. or whatever. Kids these days? Yeah, that, oh, I, I be listening. hearing shit like what? kids will brag about, like, you know what I mean? Like a kid got know, paid money. Videos. Yeah, everybody's yeah. recording everything now. So a kid, a kid, uh, a kid got paid money. I saw an article one time. I was like, a kid got paid money and was, was fucking this teacher and stole into the police and told. It I was like, you, you had yeah, money. That's wild. And even Na- even Natalie's blown away. Everybody's Natalie would have fucking teacher. Tale tale. Fucking yeah, ungrateful yeah, victim. Not, and ev- everyone's an opportunist in the worst way. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. I feel like they're teaching kids to be tattletales now. Yeah. Like, whatever you do, make sure you rat on your friends. Mm-hmm. Like, keep your mouth shut. Rat on your parents, too, if you have to. Yeah. It's like, Honestly, you could secure good grades for, like, all your friends. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You could really, like... Exploit. At least wait until the windows close. See, I shouldn't say it on a podcast <laughs> because leverage. years from now, then it really yeah, could come back and bite me. But I'm just saying... I'm gonna tell my kid so to seduce a teacher. Gonna come <laughs> come I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna tell my kid, like, hey man, I'm telling you, it's they can't do anything. Like, if you succeed, hmm, just no, don't. they they could do something if they go like, yeah, you piece of shit, don't flirt with me. I'm don't gonna call flirt. your father, and then they're <laughs> gonna come father. back to this shit. I'm like, oh look at this idiot saying that's he's the, gonna. That's the wrong person to call your dad. I feel like your dad's gonna be like, hey, come on, relax, son. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> daddy. Like, I, I don't know what to yeah. do. <laughs> you think there's even a moment when they're like calling your parents? They're calling your parents. They're like, that. should we call his mom or his dad? They're like, mom. Definitely call the mom if, if you want someone. Then to walk to him and say, Let, let's teach him a lesson. Let's go on a date so that way he doesn't. What? No, no. real. <laughs> you know, like the old like. The old line is like, you know, you catch a kid smoking cigarettes, so you make him smoke a pack of cigarettes to teach him a lesson. All right, son, I caught you with the teacher, so um, here's a lesson. (laughs) You're going to eat her out. the science department. Here you go. Eat her out until your (laughs) mouth hurts. (laughs) I did one time uh, when when Vice was good. I don't know if you guys ever read Vice back in the day. You should read a line. Yeah, when it was actually kind of good. I used to read a lot in college, and there was a story about this dude hooking up with this older, like a like a college, like a professor or whatever. And it starts kind of like that. He's like, "It's exactly what I wanted, right? It's the fantasy." 
And then he explained how the first time they had sex is all good, whatever. And they went to go do it again. And he was like, uh, we got back to her place. But then this time it was like more wellly lit, less of a whole spectacle. It wasn't like candles lit and whatnot. It was just kind of like normal. And now that it was normal and just kind of like, yeah, let's just eat and have sex. He was like, I started noticing all like the imperfections on her body. <laughs> she had hair here. She had a mole here. And like, not he just, wa- he's not he just sort of slowly walks this yeah. kid, <laughs> lose his yeah. mind. He just goes, I had to leave. And you're like, oh, dude, it's like, you're like, you're a kid. Like, yeah, you're a little, know you, women you, get older. Ate, <laughs> you chew too much. You went too, you went too big. You went too big, came out a little too quick, yeah. but didn't come. I don't he's know. He's used to girls with like bodies like 12 year old boys and shit. Yeah. Jesus, I, you guys want to talk about Mike Tyson on the plane? I, I still beating. did. I get intro, did I get intro? I don't remember. Did <laughs> yeah, we actually that get was my intro? intro. <laughs> All right, let's it's intro Garachi, you again. Garachi, Garachi, Peter Garachi, yo. <laughs> I know what you meant, but you understand those aren't words that should ever come out of your I, mouth. You know, actually, where I got that from? There was a um a Schwarzenegger movie. Um, uh huh. Where um what's the, what's that hot chick who was, she used to be so hot? Uh, Sharon Stone. No, nah, no, nah, old white chick that used to do the <laughs> pelvic thrust, <laughs> the fucking workout shits. Oh, Jane Fonda. No, 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 no. She was in Suzanne Summer. What? No, she was in that <laughs> movie. I'm, I'm showing my age. <laughs> yeah, he's throwing <laughs> them all out. No, I forgot her. She's a great actor. She always had a short haircut. Always. And this still explains. Yeah, James. Give me more of the movie. You remember anything about the yeah, movie? Yeah, the movie. He's trying to get his wife back. She's like kidnapped. I want to talk to my wife or something. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this have to do with you coming up with the phrase "twelve year old little boy"? Uh, so he was guy. riding in the car with this guy, with this dude that was giving him a ride, uh-huh. and he was talking about some girl that he was seeing. He was like, "Man, she's hot, man." He was like, "She's sexy. She has a butt like a ten year old boy." Oh, <laughs> and I was just shit. like, "Why the fuck True did he lies. say that?" True lies. Yes, with Jamie Lee Curtis. Lies. Jamie Lee oh, Curtis. Oh, dude, yes, one of the yes. greatest sets of tits in the history of movies. What? Tits? Trading, bro. trading Jeez, places. Bro. That's Jeez, a, one of one of Eddie Murphy's first movies, Trading J- Places. Jamie Lee Curtis. What else yeah, was she in? Yeah. Oh, you know her. She's in the original Lee Halloween. Murphy. She's how in every Halloween yeah. movie. Tell how old are you? Uh, twenty nine. Yeah, she was the mom in Freaky Friday. Yeah. Okay. She's been in a million movies. I thought yeah, she was a lesbian this whole time. Na- Natalie's nah, mom. She, she does have a lesbian haircut. haircut. That's yeah, her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know. I always do. Since I was eleven, I was like. No, she's smoking <laughs> in true life. She has yeah, the she white plays. woman that fucks black guys' haircut. Yeah, the short with wow. the earrings. With the... <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> that's that's what, what they I've say. Heard that. I've, I've heard, that. heard that too. I've heard that too. But Mom, no, Jamie grow Lee your Curtis, hair out. She just had the <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm gonna need your you to mom grow your that hair out. Mom, grow your hair <laughs> out. Oh, his friends are ridiculous. Yo. Jamie Lee from the block. Stefan, why are you yeah. answering the phone? Jamie Lee had a body though. She really was in great shape. Her whole Yo, how life. mad she would did. you be if one Stefan your... was begging my mom? mom? Yeah, would you be mad if one of your high school boys? No, Stefan hasn't answered my text in three years. I just want to know he's okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. What would you do? That's with... real. Stefan, message me, dude. Stefan. Stefan, text me, dude. God damn. Anyway, my name is Peter Garacci. <laughs> uh, I'm from New Jersey, but I live in New York City now. You what else like you guys want to know? Right now. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for having can me. I, it's great I, to do your show. You guys, you, guys about, um, you guys heard about Mike Tyson wailing on the dude <sighs> on the plane? So many people get into fights on planes. It's funny know, because it's uh, he. it seems like Mike was like putting everything together. Like It sounded like he was doing well. Like he was. It's can almost like tr- someone was trying to cause trouble. No, the dude, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. The dude was, was, like the dude was drunk and was just like yeah, way was. over. Yeah, like, but he, he must have crossed the line. Let I, himself get in that situation, Of course. I saw one screenshot of the guy. The guy was sitting behind him, and I think he like pulled the chair and was saying something to him, saying yeah, something to him, and like maybe Mike didn't respond. I think he like fake punched. This like is that like kind of, first class? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. they were sitting in first By the class, way, sure. was it first? Yeah, it was first class. Yeah, How do you know? I would hope so. Are you I assuming? Lo- I was looking at it. I was literally looking at it. The amount of space, the yeah. coverage. Of the, it was I thought it was coach. Okay. Was measuring the that width was, of the seats. No way, <laughs> yeah, bro. The leg room that guy had. I think he like. It was oh, too I think I think he did one of those like drunken like urr, like fake punches. And I feel like he went like this because like the, think about the, the space you need to swing. You he, gotta be first class. He was like this, and I thought he. I think he was like kind of like. How grabbing many, him and how many pieces did he get? It was it must have been three, four piece, bro. It was, it was a four, four piece, piece nugget for sure, bro. Well, <laughs> Mike Tyson was beating him like you see like a parent hitting the kid in public. Yeah, is it, like when you see it, he was like, yeah. is it video? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come I didn't hear about this? Oh, this was today? Just, that was today. It, it was a red eye. It was a red eye. Bro, he was but, hitting, but, like, like short hook, short hook. Oh, here it is. Here it is. To the body. To the head. Oh, to the head. Oh my God. To the head. He's going for the knockout. Oh, oh, oh. You see ah, what I mean? That's coach, by the way. Terrified. You see what I mean? He's shaking the no, that is first class, maybe. Maybe. That's, that's, that's the little class, cubby bro. you could get head in. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. hit him like his like. You, wait, is this sound? Leg room, bro. Damn. That's crazy. I didn't even see that good of a video before. I told you you can't have my fucking peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, Mike, Mike, come on. He didn't really, stop he didn't have the, you know, that was a little. By the way, I, I think the plane got more hey, damage hey, hey, hey. than the dude. Yeah, Watch Mike, his right arm. Mike, he just keeps stabbing. Have you seen the kid's face? He doesn't see the kid's face. No. Yeah, he gets Go to the video. He's bleeding. He, he has this. He's making a dumbass face. It's a kid? Well, he's like 19, 20, or, oh, or like uh, 22. Oh, okay. He's getting paid. But I'm happy that happened, bro. Uh, look, look, look at his stupid uh, face. Look at my, no, my Tyson, Tyson didn't even need to, to cock me. back that far to like destroy Was he trying to do some TikTok shit, probably? Probably. The dude filming him wasn't his hey, friend, in, though. In defense of TikTok filming. shit, it's pretty funny. <laughs> the thing is, that you can't get away with anything nowadays. Nah. Like, there's stories that Barkley like, th would throw people through windows at bars, and everyone would just he keep was it sued. quiet. Yeah. Barkley? Charles Barkley? Charles yeah, he Bar would get into oh, bar wow. fights all the time. People just That's kept so their weird. mouth shut. Dude, like, no one fucking keeps their of mouth course, shut anymore. Yeah, yeah. Everything's going to be on video. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna Everything's content, baby. Speaking of uh, things never coming out, um, I was watching the John Wayne Gacy tapes, just like Barkley, and uh, he killed on the floor. John Wayne Gacy killed out on the field. God Kev, don't John look at me like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> the serial killer? God. God. Are you You're looking at me weird, man. <laughs> I didn't like, I'm the weird one. Well, he said he killed on the field. John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> right to serial killer, huh? Is right. he a serial killer yeah. in a farm? Just out there. I used to play he sports. was a clown, right? He, he was, was a, a clown. But you, did you watch the new Netflix documentary? No. I haven't Dude, seen it yet. He had, I didn't realize this, he had 27 people under his house. Yeah. Holy that shit. Really you know how big his house was? Like the smaller than this studio. Yeah. Under his house. He stacked them on top of each other to like, save room. Like, wow. Like, no, it's not even that, but it's like at some point is they were caught? like he did get caught eventually, but he he stacked them underneath. He had like fifteen or so, whatever at that point. He had someone down there digging a hole like to help him, and he was like, "Yeah, just go in a straight line." And this guy like hit a rock. And he was like, oh, "I'm just gonna go around it." And then like. Five minutes later, John like came down, looked over. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Don't turn! Don't turn!" Guy was like, I don't him? know. I don't know. No, he's like, I don't know why he was so mad that day. And then he ran like a construction company. Of and course, dude, I was heck? watching this all night, and all morning. It was so fun. Uh, he ran like a construction company. It was all cement. So every time you like kill someone, he just cement new floor, and then just do it again. Cement new floor. And then this one kid was like, "Yeah, my friend went missing." I went over his house. We were hanging out, and I realized he cemented the garage again. I was like, "There's no need to cement that." <laughs> that's where his friend was. That's, but that's. I think anyone who has a construction business is hiding money and hiding bodies. Yeah, but oh do you realize, God. like, back in the day, the only reason they caught the dude was because one person was like, "Hey, my friend's really missing. You guys won't look into it." And then they were like, "Well, four people did go missing that worked for this one guy. That's not a coincidence." And then they found 27 more. Was his friend a, a dude? I feel like people don't look for dudes. They look for chicks. What? Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. They, they, yeah. Specifically, yeah. Like, boys go missing. Yeah, oh, boys oh, go people, missing. Oh, oh he was taking little boys. He was taking uh, young, uh, uh, young gay boys. Young, like, uh, nah. like 18, 20 somethings. So he was fucking them and then, like. Yeah. And then they'll. He, cementing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's DC's favorite kind of joke right there. <laughs> Dude, if that all if that story was for one thing, that's my favorite. <laughs> Little that was gay serial killer wordplay right there. Punch. Wow, how come serial killers are always no? But that's like... also another reason why they wouldn't take him because every time they would go like, "Oh yeah, boys will be boys. They'll just leave and never come back." And the but same that was thing kind happened of a to um, who was it? Dahmer. They caught Dahmer chasing a guy down the street. Oh really? In Milwaukee, the cops were like, "Ah, oh, these are a couple gay guys fighting in the street." But he literally, he was like, he was like drilling a hole in the guy's brain what to like melt fuck? his brains. And After. he's like, "Oh, that's my boyfriend. We're just having a fight." And then the cops were like, "Go back in the house, guys." And then he fucking killed the guy and put his head in the. Why would the, the guy go back in the house? But that's what I'm saying because you see two dudes fight. You're just like, no, no, yeah. but you don't have to go back. He in the literally house. would turn them into zombies. He would like drill into their skull and put poison into their brains. Wow. Whoa. So the guy was like basically like a zombie. Who's that? that? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer? Dahmer? Yeah. Yeah. John Wayne Gacy was kind of lame where he would just be like, he'd be like, hey, you want to go watch sex films at my place? And they'd be like, oh, I guess. And then he'd be like, hey, you want to see a magic trick? I could put these uh, handcuffs on and take them off. You want to see how I can show you? They'd be like, sure. And they'd put them on and be like, that's it. That's it. Oh, just, that's it. And then now, you're, now you're in handcuffs, stupid. And then he makes if, leather gloves out of your If I was an cheeks. adult in the 90s, you could have <laughs> got me like that, too. Yeah. But you know what made me feel a little bit a little bit better? One of the guys... There smoked. was nothing going on. It's you understand like, that? You know magic? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. That would have never I'm going to make you disappear. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still fucking you up with handcuffs on. You know what made me feel a little bit better, though? Is So these three dudes met him. And then, this is, by the way, if you guys ever do this to me as a friend, you guys are terrible friends. His friends say to him, like, oh, they invite John to a party they're coming to tomorrow. They're like, oh, wait, you, talent, you know the address of the place. Why don't you just stay here with him, do some drugs, hang out. Ah. We'll pick, 
drive with him in the morning. And this guy okay. was like, all right, all right, it's better than, I guess, driving with these two drunk guys. So he just slept at John Wayne Gacy's house. The dude woke him up to, like, the handcuffs and doing all that. And every time he would handcuff him, he'd have, like, a gun or something. He'd just start crying. The kid, like, he was like, yeah, I was a kid. He's like, I would literally just start bawling my eyes out, like, crying, like, just kept crying. So John would, like, choose who he killed or he didn't kill. Okay. And it was good to feel. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm a crier. I'm crying immediately. I'm going so straight. So that guy's still alive. Yeah, dude. I'm like, That's I'm great. like, Natalie. Wait, wait, he was I'd be alive, dude. Yeah. That dude was interviewed. Yeah. Like, holy you shit. You think he was a top or a bottom? Oh my god. That, a guy like that. You think John Wayne like Gacy. That? That's a bo- That's bottom behavior to be that sinister. I think. I, don't I know. think it would be crazier if you were like a power bottom. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> uh-huh. right? You're like, like give so- it to me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> You're dead after this. I'm gonna kill you. you know, to be a bottom is funny. You have to hold the gun this way. You're like, hey, keep going, keep going. I won't tell anybody. Just let me go. Just let also, me go after this, please. Also, Don't kill by me. the way, what if he's like doing a really good job and he's like, you know what? You know what? I'm actually kind of having fun with this. I'm like giving one of those like secret like oh. little hip thrusts, and he's like. Keep going! Boom! Oh shit! Oh. He just hits him with one and just like kills him. He's like, oh, what's that? Uh, what's the movie? Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Oh Pulp shit! You Fiction, shot Marvin so. in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh no! Oh, he was doing such a good job. Oh, I was, he hit I was, a bump. He was hey, I didn't hit no bump. <laughs> Classic, bro. Yo, man, I don't. I seen. I, I'm just saying because like, I, like when the, when the Ted Bundy tapes came out, that was fun. But I feel like everyone kind of knew he was like man. just like fucking girls and killing them. I didn't. I did not realize how one gay John Wayne. John Wayne Gacy was. You love saying his name. It's weird. And uh, I'm just saying it's also funny because in the tapes he goes, "I'm bisexual. I'm not gay." Yeah. It's a big difference. I like sex. I use. I use people. I'm not gay. He's like, I'm definitely a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Gay, uh, y- y- debatable. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> you think if they ran like a test on like personality traits of a bisexual male and a and a male with serial killer tendencies, you think? Some of it would check out, like in sense of like a lot of the attributes found in serial killer personalities is also found in people who are bisexual. Who identify as this? Let's all get canceled yeah. today, <laughs> today, today right now. Yes, I'm just saying. I'm, I, don't I, know. I, I gotta see why you went there. What because you're, you're, you know you're not providing anything. Bisexual murders. I'm talking about like the personality. Okay, Nat. What I'm saying is, are you a serial killer? Is there? <laughs> you're saying is the correlation? I don't think I'm a serial killer. Okay. Can I tell you what I just? To play devil's advocate, mm-hmm. what I think he's trying to say is, in a more articulate way, is that there's probably a correlation between <laughs> sexual rep- rep- repression and serial killers. Not repression, so, sexual desire. Sh- sure, let me, let me help you. Shut the fuck up for a it's, minute. It's like, desire, I, though. It's not repression. If you're bisexual, preference. it's not repressed. You're, no, no, no. You're but what desire. I'm trying to say is, like, back in the day, being gay isn't exactly accepted. Right. So someone like John Wayne Gacy, I'm going to say his name again. If he's like actually gay and he wants to do these things openly, it's not really available. As in, like today, if a kid's gay, you almost like get made fun of. If you're the dad that's like, that's not cool, you get fucking out. Right. Well, okay, you're also, you're not showing up to work on Monday. The correlation is like hiding, living a double life. That's like what having I'm saying. The th- having right. your favorite thing be right. something that you don't tell anybody. Also, but you have a strong like, desire hey, for hey, this. Hey, John Wayne, what do you like to do? Are well, you, are you saying that he killed. had to kill those dudes because he didn't want the word to come out that he was bisexual? Oh. No, I'm not saying that. that's the way I could see. I can see saying, it that they way. Said, but they said a lot of serial kids. What they found is that they they watch um a crazy amounts of hours of pornography yeah like violent but, stuff yeah like yeah, violent yeah. really aggressive like pornography like a l- hours of it so and that's a common trait that they say is in but that's also saying. because it's it, at the end of the day i think this is happening in the culture right now like we're like I'm, I'm worried about the robots taking over i don't oh, yeah. know about the rest of you guys the robots are fucking taking they're over taking over and we're dehuman being dehumanized yeah. and we're dehumanizing each other. And mm-hmm. one thing that porn does is makes you see everybody as a body and an yeah, object yeah. and yeah. not a human being. I Think about the language it. that you use, like getting pussy, like oh this like oh, dick. Pussy. It's like I you're see. dehumanizing yeah. the person. Come hole. I mean yeah. come dumpster, like it's hairy tits, like yeah. whatever we were talking about before. <laughs> Face fucking. I, I used to. I, I've had like seven girls in my life be like, "Can you just call me a cum dumpster?" Bro, you it's know, insane, man. and it, it's Yo, like horrible little cum you dumpster. You used to like it. There's a lot of like, syllables in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. It used to be like a surprise. I don't know. It was like a thing when back, a girl back was like. Back in the day, it was like key words. Now it's like full on sentences. It's just like standard sex. Your father left you. That's why you're a cum dumpster. You could be with the girl. You're like, oh, she's really sweet. Maybe she likes, you know, crazy, whatever it is. But you get in there and it's like 
the darkest like shit ever. And you're just like, dude, everyone's watching porn at 12. That's the problem. That's literally why. Or also like it's it's dark when you realize that a girl was abused as a child. That too. And, like, that too. and like violence is part of her like, thing. Or, or they also watch violent porn too early, which is could yeah. be I think causes trauma to kids if they're oh, watching sure. it at like 11, 12, yeah. There was a moment so, though. In, in, there's a moment in between like rough sex where you're like, I hope this is fun, not like an issue with you. Or more it's like what happened to you back in the day? Like I don't, I, oh, I don't think I've ever. I hope I haven't been with a girl that's like, oh no, I was there was a real trauma behind. This is gonna sound fucked up, bro. Girl. But I remember one girl. Oh, this is gonna sound really fucked up. She kind of shared her thing with me, and I couldn't see her sexual anymore. I, like, mean, I couldn't I mean, sexually. Can you explain? Well, what, like, what she, that's she, actually a good thing because I mean, yeah. she opened up to you she, and you're treating like a person. But also. Unfortunately, and I why don't you look a person? Does that make sense? Like, is that fucked up? No, it does. It's not yeah. fucked up because unfortunately, she <laughs> probably associates violence and being mistreated. Yeah, with that which is why she opened up to you because she actually like trusted you as a person. And you took, but I couldn't so you did do the anything right, anymore. Yeah, yeah but you still, yeah, you yeah. probably did the right thing. In did that she situation. open up about something that she had already? Like you've already been sexual with the person, yeah. and then they opened up. Did she tell you about something that she told she's told you to do in bed? That is like maybe a little weird now. Like yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Because what it is, yeah. it's like you. you what was you hope it? They're doing it. I'm not gonna. It's like, I mean, it's I guess also, I could say, but like she was, she was into like, like use the staple. But work. to be fair, <laughs> like, but to be fair to you too, though. To be fair to you too, like that's a lot of pressure to put on another person. Yeah, that is, y'all. And, to yo. you, <sighs> and so we can. That's when you realize, oh, you're not like like Talking this like, or sexual freaky because it's you. It's more because you've been traumatized. So now you're less into. It. I don't know if that's that's kind of what you're saying because that's, that's happened. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, you're like you're not as into because this is like oh this is a result of just exactly not that's knowing how to like, live and shit. There's, like, yeah. there's a part where you're like oh let's have like fun, but yeah. then there's a part where you're like oh well, this you're... isn't fun. This is it's like oh you don't like when I push the TV on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is like deeper. There's like called, deeper that's, meaning. That's called, that's called <laughs> like, Jesus, too. Throw the iron at me. I like it when you throw the iron at me. Attempted murder. <laughs> I've been asking you. Use a, that, you use, a, music? use a hanger as a whip. I love that. Fucking hit me with the iron. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you run it over the stove first? Did you oh run it over the God. stove first? Like, oh, oh my God. God, an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> what, you've never done this before? <laughs> Daddy oh. says I'm the best at this. <laughs> I hate that I hate that I like being called Zaddy. Oh, I, really I like it with the Z, with the Z though. Oh, with the Z. the Z is sexy. Let's get back yo, to that. Like about to rap. Speaking of Zaddy, <laughs> let's do some plug music. Hey, yo, plug I, music. I, I, <laughs> I does do this. Let's do the intros, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, please do your plug like that, bro. So <laughs> let's talk about plugs over there, Peter. What do you got to plug? Uh, well, should I say, I actually am the general manager of the comedy shop on Bleaker Street. Should never said that shit, bro. Shouldn't tell anybody. I, I am not the booker. Do not DM me. <laughs> Don't ask me for spots. Uh, but it's a great club. It's on Bleaker Street. It's a cool place to hang out. Great place yep. for shows. And I'm also the co-host of Kill You Last Podcast, which is on Spotify, everything. Let's go. I, I listen I, now. Streaming on all platforms, guys. Sure. Talent? Right, Talent? Uh, we got a plug. Sorry. Uh, I co-produce a, a comedy show at Barry Electric every Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. Give me a break comedy show. Yes, That's sir. with Julio Diaz and Luis Galilei every week. Different lineup. Come check us out. You can find me at Talent Harris on everything you heard. Kevin Sanchez. Yo, uh, Instagram is ITS, Kevin Sanchez. Twitter, Papa Sanchez. Uh, it's about to get crazy. Cinco de Mayo. We're going to be at uh, the oh, Soho yeah, Playhouse. Yeah, plug that. It's going to be nuts. I want all my people to come through. And then, um, I don't know if we officially named this show, but... Uh, you want to tell, tell them next week? Tell them, tell them next week? All right. We no, got no, some no, shows. No, we got some shows no, in Harlem. You guys have officially named the show. Yeah, but you want to announce it next week, though. Can, Can I announce it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember it, but <laughs> it's a great fucking name. They're starting a new comedy <laughs> show in Harlem. Mungu and Oxtail. Mungu and Oxtail. Mungu and Oxtail like comedy show. It's a good name. Uptown 145th in St. Nicholas. I heard you were trying to get him to change it because you're an idiot. I wanted to change it to Burn After Writing, like the movie Burn After Reading. Oh, I don't get it. Whatever. Oh, Broadway. It sounds like a, a right. Broadway title. Yeah. Yeah. DC, what do you got to plug? Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. What do you got to plug? Are you, are you done plugging? You done? Um, Mungu, you good? I'm good. I'm okay, Oxtail. Cool, 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 cool. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, DC Williams, Um, it's uh, DC Does It on Everything. Um, Every Friday, Sugar Hill Cafe, Um, not the Apollo Comedy Show. So also coming to um, Sugar Hill Cafe is the Mungo and Oxtail comedy show. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it.
that's really it um wednesdays i host a fucking open mic so come and you know come depress me you know um yeah that's it where's that that's on the also cafe? at sugar cafe yeah cafe? all uptown way 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 uptown guys that's mungu that's oxtail and i'm ice water uh you guys go follow me at dylan j negri on instagram ice go water? on ice Almost, water you should have said saratoga or some shit. come on <laughs> white people have come on you got more than Right. Actually, I'm Israeli. Really, I, I can get into it, but okay. I felt like ice water was like you, you gotta wash it down. Casserole or something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, need some, you need some water in there. This dude is shitting all over there. his plug right now. <laughs> Guys, go uh, go to my website, dylancomedy.com. Check out dates there. Uh, I go on the road sometimes. And um, check out May 5th. Me and Kevin Sanchez will be doing that show. Me and your show is this week. Guys, thank you for subscribing. We just hit a thousand subscribers. That's awesome. Uh, thank you everyone that's been watching, subscribing. Boop, boop, boop. And um, come back every week and check out Dope Up and Down. We have funny comedians, funny people, and uh, conversations. See you next week. Yo, do you guys got oh, shit figured out in terms of, like, saving money? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> in general? So how do you guys better. save <laughs> money? Kevin, like, I feel red. like you do this every, every week. Every week. Every week. In Put a, your money in real estate. Put your sure. mo- no, 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 no. Not investing money. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, save How it. do you save money Budgeting. in this city? Probably by How do you budget? <laughs> Ride a bicycle. I have four jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the only... <laughs> Never get ahead. Dude, I just, I, I'm looking into a second job right now. I have a full-time job. I'm looking into a second job, and I'm looking for a third stream of income, which the only well, way... You I can... mostly just chilled that first-time job. Hey, yo, my man, why you? Why, yo, my man, this is being Come on, recorded. he just failed all the way to the top. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. I just be calling Kevin. He'll just be like, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, yo, I'm working. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, Walking. <laughs> I'm the CEO now. I don't know what happened. They just made me the CEO. Oh, well, I'm a field CS, so I do a lot of walking now. I think I dropped like 10 pounds this week. Just from really? walking? Yeah, just from walking. There's a lot of jobs. I, I yo, don't know if you guys know this. It's for him to get healthy. There's a lot of jobs in America that don't really... They Ladder? don't create anything. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a lot sure. of just like moving stuff around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and and, and it's it is, just it is sometimes crazy when, machine. You, when you start thinking about it, like people will talk about like, you know, pay wages that I'm not trying to get into all that. What I'm saying is I've worked jobs where I've gotten paid way too much to do nothing. The guy at the top, the CEO, always gets he does the least, gets paid the most. He, he doesn't really do the least. Talking to the mic. He does the least like physical labor. But he's yeah, doing the that's most I mean. in terms of expanding the company and taking meetings and all that type of shit. But he's also taking the most risk. Yes, say, he is. He is. He's what he front. does, like, if he fucks up, it matters a lot more than if dude making sandwich at Subway right. puts on the wrong mayonnaise. That's true. And also like, you can fuck up 30,000 times. Is a lot. It it's is. a lot out of it. If I fuck up five times, people, we're screwed. Like, when you can leave your work at work, mm-hmm. it's one thing. When you have to, like, are you Take getting everything. texts and calls in the Hell morning, yeah. at night, in the weekend? It doesn't matter. I see right? it, man. I have a, a friend of mine whose business is doing pretty. He's a young. He's young. He's like 26. But the constant... Like phone calls, it's I mean it's twenty four seven. Like people are like, oh, I don't want a nine to five. But when you don't have a nine to five, you're you're just you're working for yourself, but you're working as much as you need to mm-hmm. yeah. to keep everything. And afloat. also, I I worked construction when I was in college, mm-hmm. like in like on the bricks. Yep. And you know, from seven to three thirty, I, I was digging holes. Yeah. That's just like it's physically exhausting. Yeah, yeah. You go home, you sleep, you wake up, you're fresh. Yeah. When you have a job that like drains you mentally. You're exhausted. It's like way you never worse. When I was in sales, it's so hard to be an artist. Yo, exactly. It's it really is. hard. You can't to turn your brain off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was in sales, bro, I felt like I was always taking my work with me, even though I didn't really need to. Yeah. But you need to if you really want to succeed in sales. You kind of get. Well, any call. job, like you guys are all young. I'm a fucking. I could be all your dads. I'm like yeah. one college <laughs> Me and every one of your dads over here. Well, that's why I asked that question. Um, I was like, oh, he's Pete's here. <laughs> so when I was, are you eight, hiring? What's that? <laughs> no, no, not yet. Uh, when I was in college, my like mentor in college said that like most of the people, if you look at like all the great figures in history, most of them were not doing what we remember them for until they were about thirty years old. Yeah. And it wasn't like they were like Gandhi wasn't working his way up the corporate ladder and decided to like lead India to independence. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Martin Luther King wasn't ju- like he didn't like. I do want to see Gandhi's last day promoted. Corporate, you know, so most of them like there was a shift in their life around thirty years old. So twenty seven, twenty eight, usually. Something kind of starts to bubble inside you where you're like, all right, I've been doing this, but now I want to do this. I will say, that when I turn 30, bro, the moment I turn, I'm talking about the second I turn 30, I swear to God, I was like, I got to make, I, I never cared about money before. Yeah. And I was like, I need to make money. But the thing too is, and where our culture is like, a, there's a lot of like, we're told to be distracted constantly. Really, the way to really succeed is fucking balls to the wall. Focus yeah. your energy. The hardest thing to do right now is just focus. Yeah. And if you look at, if you like study people who've, like really succeeded 
They weren't diversified. Are they you, weren't. They were a hundred percent focused Pete, on what they're doing. Are you saying what I think you're saying right now? Are you saying to the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the devil, yo? Not yeah. only is it the devil, no, but it's it was it was it's there to distract you. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I so I used to have a I used to be a bad gambler, I used to blackjack, all that stuff, and um, if like the people who basically created the apps on our phones, they studied research done by casinos on oh, how to shit. keep you. Like, like a casino knows how to keep you playing the slot machine for an extra minute, yeah. an extra five minutes. They know exactly what to do to get yeah. your attention. And literally the inventors of all the apps on the phone took that research, push notifications, mm -hmm. likes, all that stuff. The dopamine in your brain, mm -hmm. it works exactly like you're playing a slot machine. In the I casino. see that shit on Twitter because it's like they be telling you shit that you don't need to tell me. Like... This person just like this tweet that yeah, you yeah. retweeted. How do you know? And you notice that keep coming up. You notice they keep coming up. But why do I got to learn another app? Yeah. Why the fuck? Why do I got to get on TikTok now? It's not. I don't have enough apps. Like why? It's, they, it's I, like, I, I do like watching uh, watching P going. Why? Why is there so many apps? Well, I, 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 know, I, I don't want. I don't want to dude, learn another. Well, you guys app. are so funny because you like I tell my friends that are that are your age that I'm like oh I got this shit on iTunes. They're like you use iTunes. I'm like dude iTunes has been around for a week and a half. That's an old bitch. Your world. Because I got VHS. You want to talk about old chick? I guess a VHS. People don't know that they could still buy albums. That's on embarrassing. ITunes. I'm 24 yeah, and I also use iTunes. Yeah, I, no, I, I use iTunes. I started okay. using Amazon to buy books, and I know people who don't even know that no, Amazon sells crazy. books. I do yeah. remember. I used to buy all my school books. Yeah, from Amazon. How old are you? Uh, I'm gonna be 43 in a couple weeks. Okay. I like that you that? said it. Fairly young. Man. I've asked okay. a few people I embrace that shit. about their age, and they go, "Why are you asking me about men? shut the who get men? men women too?" Oh. But honestly, I can't so, believe that in 2022 we dad. care, bro. I was playing 32 for a while, but my little brother just turned 34, so I think it's disrespectful to tell people that I'm 32 years oh, old. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yo. Yeah. You actually look like a young like for no offense, but for a white dude, you look great. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Like, like I'll tell you what, like uh, you look like there's you been a couple times where. Black women have looked at my pores. I feel like, <laughs> like, like, like this. Like, yo, really? How old are you? Yeah. You'll you be That's using like the old, That's the ultimate compliment it's when a black the woman looks like. same way you read like how old a tree is. Let me look at those pores. Yeah. Yo. You do look like you hit the steam room pretty often. You got no, that. No, God bless. Black I mean, like I said, I lost my. Well, this is another thing too. When you lose your hair, you stop aging. So if you saw a picture of me ten years ago, you you couldn't be able to tell the difference. Well, no, no, the no fact that you shaved, no, 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 back. the fact that you shaved your fucking head, yeah. is the reason why you stop aging. Oh, dude, one day I like let it grow out. I'm like, oh shit, my whole head's gray. I, it could have oh, been shit. ten years ago. I have no idea. I'm mm -hmm. going gray in the front right now. It yeah, that's what because like people they they track like the progress, like your hairline receding, your mm -hmm. hair going gray. If you're that's shaved head, it, it stays the same no matter what. Yo, yeah, black yeah, like, women are the best in terms of like calling things out right oh, away. Like, good good I, or I, bad? Dude, if she had a, a, if if had a magnifying glass, she would have busted out a magnifying glass. Do you have a black woman story? Oh, yeah. I, I guess he does. <laughs> have you met any of his ex-girlfriends? Have you met any of his ex-girlfriends? Hold on, we all talk at the same time. What? I tell you what happened outside of uh, um, D.C. when I was with uh, Derek and Dave. Um, we're also sitting oh. at the Napoleon Emil. Oh, no, I, I didn't know that you were going with this. I thought you were talking about what I told you earlier. Go no. ahead. Hey, Kev. Can I tell a story? No, I'm joking. Um, That's black women. That they make them there. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. No, she, uh, this black woman walks out from the showroom and literally just saw me perform and just saw everyone, whatever, came out. And she just looks at uh, Derek and goes, ooh, you have nice hair. Sees this, every, all the black people and like even my, my dupe ass sitting there going like, oh, no, just like there's people around me. She just sees all black people goes, oh, I'm sorry, all y'all got nice hair. And then as she gets her head to me, she goes, I mean, except you. Oh, oh shit. shit. And I was like, what the fuck? Motherfucker won't get a haircut, bro. <laughs> you know that. No. If I said that, I'd be on the fucking front cover of DC News. <laughs> Wait, what can I ask a question? You so guys have nappy hair. Her. Doing the plugs is not the end of the podcast? No. no so you guys middle. don't intro your guests, and then you do plugs in the middle well, of the podcast? You don't want to do plugs. I don't, I don't want to. Is everybody want, high? Is that what's going dream. on here? Are you guys all high? Yes. Pete, Pete. <laughs> Is a new way of doing things, okay? <laughs> Clearly, all right. You guys are reinventing hey. the wheel in here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you, you, so let, let's, let's, so because he doesn't understand the algorithm. You do plugs in the middle because if people aren't watching all the way to the end, it still gives them a chance that they like you or you to go follow you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We yeah, also iTunes don't immediately too. intro you guys in another show so people kind of get the rhythm, hear the voices. Maybe you say something funny. Maybe you say something funny, and then they kind of come in, and then they go, hey. 
So we're doing it for the robots. We're doing it for the bots. <laughs> doing we're doing it for the, it for the, the Russian bots. The you know why? Because there's, there's a destruction of the American family yeah. created by the robots. The, the yeah. nuclear yes. family. The Globally. nuclear family. It's yeah. done. Mm-hmm. It's done. I don't know why. No, the nuclear here. family is yeah. living in Ukraine right now. There, there's a war on <laughs> the American. No, gotta, you know, yeah, the yeah, nuclear yeah. family has literally it's, been. It's over. Yeah. I'm living with strangers. They're trying to prime us for nuclear war. You notice that? They're getting us. They want us to think like, oh, nuclear war. What's the big deal? Dude, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and. Ukraine hasn't been talked about since. I know people have said it before, but I just I don't see it no, on the news back, anymore. It's back in the I news. don't see it on the news, dude. No, no, no. You didn't see what my man Putin said? What did he say? I should say my man Putin, but <laughs> don't put that on no, right Putin. Here. Putin. Yo. He dropped the new man, tape? Yeah, he said, he said. He dropped the new tape. Try me. He was wow. like, hey, nukes coming. By the way, nukes are coming. Russia just yeah, proved man. that if you do just wait out mean culture, like making fun of you, it just uh, they just yeah. move on. Well, we were talking before. It's like everyone was like, "I'm gonna make fun of Putin and watch; he's gonna get under his skin." Yeah, but well, we were like, saying before, like just lay Maxwell. They were like, "Ha ha ha!" They're gonna suicide her. It's like, no, nah, we'll forget in a day because they they taught that they learned a lesson from what's his name uh, Epstein. Epstein mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. obviously forgot about him yeah, too. I for- mm-hmm. <laughs> they learned a lesson. It's like our brains are scrambled by cat TikTok videos. It's it. it's yeah, over. Bro, we can't pay attention too. to nothing. It I'm, really is like some I, people do look like they're in a trance, bro. Like I was walking through Hudson Yards and the amount of people. People that were doing like self timer photos, like girls and guys, it was just weird. Everyone just looked like, yeah. you know what I mean? It was just like wow, they look like this, bots, bro. Yeah, bro. You the really funny thing is, if you, gone. I mean, if you watch a lot of movies from like the seventies and eighties, it's like all the science yeah. fiction from yeah, that yeah. time period was shit. warning us about mm-hmm. what happens Did when the machines just... take over, and people are like, "Oh no, let's do that now." Yo, you seen What's... THX one fifty one? Sorry, my bad. Yeah, the, you seen that the, the first? Lucas from? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, student film. Fire movie, but this is such a conspiracy the theory. That's uh, all of a sudden. Uh, I like Robert this. Duvall. It's amazing. That movie. Yeah, yeah, it was a great movie. You, are you gonna know this? The right? Matrix, one of my favorite movies. Your eighties movies, guys. What's this movie where they goes where they take the glasses off and it's like uh, they live. They live. I love bro. That movie. He didn't even that, that, that movie is a literally about, about what's happening right, right now. now. Yeah, I, my boy put me on Rowdy Roddy Piper. God bless. Rest in peace, man. It was so amazing. If, if you guys don't know what they live is, it's like they put on these glasses and you see what the world actually is. Right, mm-hmm. so you see like demons and goblins. Well, no, it's like no, so, how. So, a- so basically, aliens are living here amongst us. Yeah, but they look like regular people. Mm-hmm. So Rowdy That's Rowdy Piper is. is like he's a drifter, and he like stumbles upon this church. But the church is actually a front for a group that's actually fighting. Like they know what the real thing is, so they have these special sunglasses. But like, not only are they alien, like it would look like you, but if I put the sunglasses on, I can see that you're an alien. But like every magazine, every television set, every billboard is subliminal messages mm-hmm. that the aliens are telling us to basically conform and just do what you're told. Mm-hmm. And it's it's super for spooky society, right? because it's literally what's happening today. Mm-hmm. That that's just supposed to be a warning. And instead people are like, oh, cool. What a great idea that is. <laughs> but but that, that's what I thought too when I would watch those movies. But I realize now, you know that one, what's that one movie also with Wesley Snipes? I know it's mad random. Demolition word. Man? Demolition Man. You, I like how censored society got and there were no crimes. They turned on the radio, music was shit, and it was just all this popcorn the, shit. The moment you committed a crime, right. the police were there. Exactly. The craziest was, lesson of like the lockdown and everything is not is that how quickly people will fall in line oh, with what bro. they're told. Oh, that made me... Uh, that shit we're, Because we're social animals. Everyone thinks... So, like, I'm special. I'm you're an not, individual. That's why not, I'm bro. waiting in line with all these other people nope, to buy this nah. fucking t-shirt. Because I'm unique. No, we we are... We take our cues from other people. Most people don't want to stand out. Most people don't want to do a risky thing. Of course. So you'll do what other people around you are doing. But it was really... It didn't It didn't take much convincing to to get people out of fear to just do exactly what yeah, people it doesn't were take asking. Much. It and made I, people stupid. Like, it was really crazy. Oh, no. Bro, I got uh, COVID in December I feel like I've had a foggy brain for the last two and a half months <laughs> right I really I really felt like that foggy but, um, and I feel like I just got out of it and bro I'm just like I was I, I, listen during the pandemic I was falling in line too I'm not gonna front out here like I was like not quarantining for six weeks and then, but there was, was a moment not. where you're like, this is insane I can't live like this anymore I'm gonna fuck something up yeah I'm gonna I'm, I'm going crazy yo like we I was watching you guys rewatched that? What was that? Uh, the dudes with the tigers. Tiger, tiger, tiger fucking. Tiger, tiger, tiger Roy? No, no, no. Tiger, 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 tiger King. Tiger King. Oh, I didn't even watch it. I that tried rewatching it. It's the worst. Yeah, but you know what? It was really like they had pandemic. that shit ready for a ready pandemic. Ready for the pandemic. That's you the only what? way. You know what the only cure for any of this stuff is? Don't do what everyone else is yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, like, watch old shit, read old books, go to the fucking woods, like, spend time away from 
the culture because the culture is pervasive. Jerk and the off only from way to your get away memories. From yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's a good lesson. You remember doing that as a kid, jerking off from your memories? I can't watch. That's my, that's my I, weekly reset. I have a hard time watching off. new movies because the way new movies. They me suck. too. I, it's bro, like suck, I don't. Man. I can't pay attention because it's like the screen is like flicking at me. Yeah. I, I'm trying not. Like I try to watch Batman. I'm like, this movie stinks. Yeah. Like, it does, I, I liked it. I can't watch. I didn't like. I tried. I was like. The, it was just Detective Batman. That's you know what it's hard to do? Watch an hour special. Yeah. Insane. I feel like... No, we were talking about that the other hard. day. Um, Almost anyone. Specials, specials are no longer going to be an hour. Yeah. So, like, going forward, they have when, like, when, like, we're putting out specials in multiple, they're not going to be in hours. They're going to be in 45 minutes. And they're going to keep... Even more even less. 15 yeah, I was going to say yeah. less, yeah, bro. No, I think everyone gets your initial, like, 15. I think that's still typical like i'm saying the spectacle of like a one man show for like, let's do like an hour yeah. it's not going to be an hour it's going to be 45 bro, people minutes people are putting and... out 25 minute specials bro like 22 one minutes. of my favorite like things to nerd out about like art like uh one of the things that's lost in our culture is like proportion yes so like art has to have proportion mm-hmm. too what do you mean so if an opera was 15 minutes long you'd be like what well, that it's doesn't make any opera. sense yeah, yeah, yeah. A sitcom is 22 minutes long. Mm-hmm. A, a movie should be 90 to 100 minutes. So when people say like Judd Apatow movies are too long, what they're saying is a comedy should not be three hours long. It should. Like Lawrence of Arabia and fucking The Godfather are three hours long. Mm-hmm. A joke is get to the funny part quickly. Right. So you can't do that for three hours. So like every, I think for whatever reason, it, it kind of got to the point where it was like 30 minutes and, and 60 minutes was like what comedy should be. Yeah. That could change. But no there's no, watching, no more sacredness no to the hour. Like, yeah, there, it's it's not special. Yeah, it's Things not, are not special yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. laughing for longer than an hour, it's exhausting. It's yeah. exhausting. It yeah. is yeah. exhausting. That's why like it a long hurts. show, like it kind of wears out the audience. That's why like hour ten minutes. Is yeah. Every comedy anytime show you see one of those like 10. comedy shows that have like Bringers? twelve comics, eight comics on it, you're like, oh, this is going to be exhausting. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like that is going to. I found a flyer. I was on. There was seventeen headshots on the flyer. For the show, <laughs> I gave it a badge and it, it said fire, dude. with special guests on the box. Uh, <laughs> it's a festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a Tuesday at Dangerfield. <laughs> it was a festival, <laughs> and I got four people paying in the audience. <laughs> dude, I hate when uh you're doing a comedy show and it's and it's like seven oh. comics have went up. Some of them did well, some of them did bad, and the host goes. Plenty more comics to come. Oh my! Well, the funny thing is, uh, the real only got three like left. Want them to leave? You know, leave them wanting more because yeah. it's like, dude, you, there's there's plenty of people in New York City that could kill for eight minutes, mm-hmm. and when they do twelve, those last four minutes are rough. <laughs> and they could have left killing after yeah. eight minutes, but they're like they got greedy. And all the audience remembers is like, yo, that guy, he like ran out of steam there. <laughs> I, 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 I only remember the last. Ten I will minutes. say, like, yeah. one of the yeah, best exactly. tips that uh, Derek gave me, like Derek Gaines, is uh, we were in Chicago Why don't one you time. name drop while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> so when I was here with Godfrey, uh, what Godfrey told me about comedy, what not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the same thing I said to Kevin Sanchez when he came at me this morning. My bad, be going on the road and shit. I don't know what to tell you. My bad. My bad. When I was at Dunkin' Donuts uh, with Derek Gaines in Gainesville, Florida, um, he told me. <laughs> what did you say, Gainesville? Fuck, hell yeah, It just it works with Gaines. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's poetry. Comedy, <laughs> comedy is wordplay. <laughs> Syllables. Um, no, I'm a UF fan, baby boy. Uh, go Gators. Uh, we were chill, chilling with him, and we were uh, when we were at um, Chicago Laugh Factory. He was like texting me while I was on stage. Was, like, I, I didn't know where the light was, and he was texting me. He goes, "Just text me. Get off stage. Get <laughs> oh, off wow, stage. Yeah, yeah. Get off stage." And it was funny. I posted it, and it was one of those things that we talked. We were laughing about that night, but he was just laughing. We were laughing about it. He goes, "If you see that light." And you get even a, you get a laugh, just get the bounce, fuck just off bounce. stage. Yeah. Like it is just that's it. You that light is on and you get a laugh, just get the fuck off. Yeah. And that's just been ingrained in me and it's almost fun or watching people if you're Kevin, not do it. If you're Kevin, <laughs> you just stay on stage for as long as you want Kevin to, t- you know? Uh, Kevin called like, hey, Kevin hey, called hey, this morning. But when, you're, this- when you're doing well, <laughs> yeah. pass the light. We goes, gotta keep it. He goes, yo, he goes, yo yesterday, yesterday I did 18 minutes. We go, oh, yeah, oh, word? He goes, yeah, yeah, It was a 15-minute spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let me say, I will say, yo, bro, there's nothing more fun than watching comedians. But it's like an indie show. Let me, let me talk. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you keep cutting me the fuck off, bro. It's getting disrespectful. <laughs> You're getting disrespectful. All right, continue bro. the story, Kevin. All right? Don't, don't you fucking tell me what to do, All right, bro. Keep it going, Kevin. <laughs> Yo, son, I'm about to like <laughs> Homer Simpson me. choke you, Bart Simpson <laughs> motherfucker. I I, oh, anyway, there's nothing better than seeing. So when Kevin called us this morning, oh. yo, <laughs> damn, bro, 
We got 10 minutes left. <laughs> Guys, uh, speaking of time, I got I to gotta go. Speaking of ending on a high note, I do, I do have to run out of yeah, here. No, 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 Is no, it cool no, if I dip know. out? Get a heart out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pete, Pete does things. Pete, I gotta fucking... go back and run a bit. I gotta go dig ditches. Well, he's allergic to whatever the fuck you guys just did. I'm the so. CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Just to bury some bodies. I gotta go back to. I gotta pour some concrete when I get back. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but no, um, so got... talent standing. You're gonna. The yeah, talent's gonna yeah, take exactly. listen, 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 we had a, a huge episode last week. Thank you to the 32,000 people that checked out the Pangea episode. Ooh. So I, I think that a lot of people are gonna come back. So we might as well do do them the due diligence and do a full episode. Absolutely. Uh, hey. Peter, please come back. Um, come back on. Dude, Thank we'll you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you, man. Appreciate having you guys. Thank you, bro. I'll see you. I'll see you guys. Do, huh? Do complete your thought. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this, we did 18 minutes. So I did 18 minutes. Right? <laughs> but the reason why I did 18, not that you should ever run the light, right? But you can just, you just take so on many yeah, right? people. That's me. <laughs> that's all you right there, Tyler. <laughs> that's me. So many people were bombing that night. I mean, bombing so hard, and it's so fun to see people bomb. But bombing on a good crowd, too? Like, nah, that. this crowd, that's oh. ba- this why I love black women in the back of a comedy club. Because they were just like, where do you get off? <laughs> Bro, they Damn. were wilding. There was this one dude, he was doing a bit. He was doing a bit about how people shouldn't follow their dreams, and they should quit. But right before, he bombed for five minutes straight, and then went into that bit, right? That's funny, though. And, <laughs> In, in retrospect, <laughs> it's funny. Comic. We know it's funny. <laughs> I was hollering. The lady in the back was like, I know somebody that should quit their dreams. Oh. <laughs> when the back yeah. of the room is killing, <laughs> it's time to go. Yeah. Bro, but Yo. She was doing it funnier. She wasn't killing. She was killing for her two friends, but she was like whispering loud. Bro, I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but she was like, I know somebody that should quit right now. <laughs> Do you remember when you asked me if something funny happened at the while hosting for Jay this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something funny did happen, but I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to like ruin it. Him? He started like roasting me over the phone. He's like, I guess something funny happens when you're out there. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, <laughs> I got me, something. He, he over here telling me how good it was. I don't care how good it was. Tell me the bad shit that happened, bro. Oh no, this one's kind of it's, it's kind of a similar story. I did do, I, and I still end on top in this story. <sighs> Come on, you know my story, big, yeah, big yo, boy. Yo, yo, I love that. I love it. I got a love hate relationship with uh, Dylan's stories because he's like yeah. always ending on yeah. top. Yo, he's always. It's like it's like it's like oh, this kid's about to fail. And he does not. See, they're just always, for me, it's just too long, or it's another story about how heroic he was. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, all right. Okay. I one time saved DC from uh, getting hit by a car. Just putting that out there. Before you tell this story, can I rearrange you guys a little bit? Someone sit over there. I feel talent's all alone oh, in the shot. Hey, you want to slide over there, Cash? Oh, oh my God, dude. My it sounds body like, just exhaled. It, it sounds like that Louis C.K. bit about um, Goodwill oh. Hunting. Uh, oh, Matt Damon, he that. wrote the movie for himself. <laughs> so it's like, it, I mean, of I course, it's going to be a good story. By the story. way, still, 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 uh, still that same move. Um, <laughs> Dylan is the hero no one asked for <laughs> and no one needs. That's why they call him Young Dill. That's why they call him the kid. Uh, so the kid this weekend was hosting for Big J. And hey, that's, first of all, yeah. <laughs> That's a, no, no, no. For real, that's a cool W. Um, I mean, hey, I, I should talk about it. I mean, it's towards the end of the podcast, so I, we, we can do like 20 minutes on like actual comedy shit. Because I, I want to actually talk about more comedy shit with you two. Mm-hmm. And so this is a good segue into it. Yeah, dude, I mean, that was insane. I mean, doing Skank Fest alone. I mean, I've already been on shows. Like, not trying, not trying to, I've been on shows with Ari before, with like Dave Smith, with Lewis. But actually having Jay be like, hey, man, you want to come host a weekend? And being out there with Justin Silver, who's another great comic, another boy. So it was just like, Boys weekend, a lot of fun, but someone who lives really close to the uh, the studio, uh, the st- the stage, the comedy club, I produce Natalie. Yeah, and Natalie, shout out Nat. Natalie goes, oh, it's right by my place. Like I'm gonna come see you guys perform. And there's four shows. I don't care about Big J seeing me perform. He hasn't really. He's seen me a couple times, but like I was like, wasn't worried about that. Genuinely, kind of nervous to see my producer, who's never seen me do stand. Like you guys ever get like really? unrationally nervous in front yeah. of certain people? Like, 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 like you could not be scared in front of like a JFL audition. Let's we'll just throw it out there. Yeah. You could be like, oh, I'm kind of cool up here, but like that's very true. Like, like, so, like somebody from work comes to you're, see you're, you. Your like, mom, like your mom's best friend, comes to see you finally. They're gonna like, think I'm a fraud. Yeah. <laughs> they think I got no jokes, bro. <laughs> bro they, 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 they think I got no jokes. Yeah. They just don't want to look unofficial. Yeah. Yeah. They want to look official. Dylan, my, my, I don't know you. I didn't know you at the time, 
But one time you I, were bombing, bro. I, I was producing. This is before. Yeah, I don't bomb since I know. You. But like, uh, <laughs> I haven't bombed since I met you. <laughs> I was like, I was no, but me. I was with my uncle. My mm-hmm. uncle. I, I produced a show, oh, and my yeah. uncle brought like thirteen heads. That's also when we grow up. Uh, and I was... bombed so hard. Some lady in the back knew what I was going through. He goes, wait, what did she say? She said, she said, you're killing it up there. But she didn't need to say that. You know what oh. I mean? And it was through silence, and then that she got an word. explosion of that's laughter. Like the equi- ah! That's like the equivalent of the, like the equivalent of like, oh, yes. yes. you ever hear that yeah. shit in the Babe, audience? He's gonna be all right. My bitch, don't on me. I'm young, yeah. bro. <laughs> I mean, bro, she did that. I let her win. I, I didn't even have a comeback, have to. right? So I keep going. I keep going. I keep going. This keep bitch bombing. did it again. You got it. You. Keep killing it. Not and the call back. The call, bro, it. when I tell you, <laughs> she just looked at me like, bitch, they laugh. The room it. erupted. Everyone you grew up with is. <laughs> Yo, I, and you know they did the run around. They like, bombed in front of the neighborhood, bro. <laughs> I don't know, also, I just picture everything is like. Like they all look like other versions of Kev, so there's just other versions of Kev going, yo, oh, bro, they were looking at me, buddy, like, buddy, buddy. But no, 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 buddy's me, uh, <laughs> bro. They were looking at me. I swear to God, what like I, I call it Ice Cube face, right? Like hood Ice Cube. You always gotta be be mean mugger, like this the whole show. <laughs> Meanwhile, they know you. They know <laughs> me, bro. <laughs> you it's, know? it's lit, by the way, and I know the room he's talking about. It's a really close, enclosed room that's like a, up below a bar, and the, like the stage is right there. So if there's 13 people, that's the room. It's you and 13 people. Yeah. So if they're mean mugging you, it's like, bro, you're two feet away from me. I know who you are. Yeah. Like, now, and I wish, by the way, those people didn't come back to another show for two years. They didn't. Wow. They didn't. And thank God. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. So it's funny. My so, step, I'm sorry. Go ahead. My stepmom also one time, she, we talked about, we talked recently and she was like, let me know when you're doing a show. Like, wherever it is, we'll come out. And I was like, I don't want you there. Yeah. Because on the off chance, it's not a good night. You don't, yeah. need, to, you don't need to see that. But Natalie goes, hey, I'm, I'm probably going to come to one of those shows. Like, I'm coming. I'm definitely going to come. It's right there. And I'm like, fuck. And I'm so happy she did not tell me what show she was at. Cause in my head I was like, you were just ready every show. Like, I was that's that's what it was. I was like, all right, I guess we're just on every show. Did I it guess, get better the other three shows since I went Natalie, to the first? By one? the fourth show, my dick was on stage, bro. <laughs> I was out there. This laying dude was me head. too. And he was <laughs> Natalie. Natalie, the first show they. Damn, asked I'm me, glad I missed that one. The, the first show they asked me, they were like, they're like, okay, we're gonna light you. Like, how much time do you want to do? Like, you 15, right? And I was like, uh, for this one, I was like, I was like, here, light me at 12. That the next one, I was like, you can light me at 15. Oh, I was like, I'm, I'm probably gonna. I, 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 I looked at Justin still. I go, Justin, relax. I'm gonna have some fun. But uh, no, uh, the, the, this is a cool moment for me. And I'm, I'm really gonna. As much as the week, the weekend with Jay was awesome. This was a really cool moment. This actually can make. This kept me going. Could keep me going in comedy for another four years. This one oh, little shit. moment. No, there's no, moments. No, like, no, but there's moments, moments like that. Like that. I'm being yeah, dead you serious. Do. Where again, like someone big could tell you, "Bro, you killed it." And you'd be like, write that off, maybe. Just move on with your life, right? You need 15 of those. I killed it from a big comedian to even get anything in a club. I see Natalie outside, and she just looks at me, and Natalie just does one of the most real, real like, two, like, voice, just so we yeah. could hear it. And she just goes, dude, thank God you're funny. I had no idea what I was going to say. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, and I'll just go, what? Uh, she goes, yeah. yeah. I said to my friends, I was like, but what if he's, like, not funny? Yeah. Like, do I just, like, lie to him? Like, yeah. what do I do? And watching Natalie kind of deal with that made me go, I can do so. I can do so. Bro, like bro, eight bro, years, bro. bro, try doing that with a girl that you were seeing. She brings three of her friends, and you're just like, oh my god. Oh, bro, <laughs> bombing in front of a girl. <laughs> no, I, I was, I, I bombed in front of her before, but when her, she brought her friends, I didn't bomb. It was a good show. The first time I invited her to a show, dude, I was hosting the show. So not only did I bomb, <laughs> I was bombing throughout the whole show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're hosting and bombing? bombing throughout the entire you show. Keep going back this up. Crowd was weak, bro. Oh. Like it was really like every and it wasn't one of those nights where like I bombed and everyone else no. Everyone was kind of late. The jokes were just not landing. Like the crowd was just. Can I weird. say something though? Every, yeah, you were supposed to set the tone. Yeah, I was. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you and are the, the host. And, you and are the, the host. And that's the thing. Like, I, I had some shit about like dating that worked. You know how like that shit will work. Is all right. You got talking to Mike. But buddy. then you do some like other shit. You get into some comedy, and then it's just like, oh, we don't. We're pulling back on that joke. Oh, oh you're damn. making fun of these people. You know what I mean? It's just. But at it, least you tried, though, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I didn't just, just don't stop. Like, yeah. I don't like when hosts like they kind of bitch out. No, no, no. What no, you mean? No, what you mean? Like you ever just see like a, a host? Maybe they they don't even do like. 
real time up top and then it'll yeah. just throw somebody up oh some no I was doing like material that. I kept doing material like, I don't, like crack the room yeah oh, I bitched out one time on the road with Derek and Dave <laughs> I bitched out bro yeah. oh, not like bitched out but there was the first show I told you first show at DC I bombed oh I bombed and you were like could not wait to I, I could not wait. every time he when, was anticipating when, the light when, when, when Dave yeah when Dave, <laughs> and then when Dave got off I was uh-huh. like I was like y'all ready for your next comic <laughs> yes, yes. Like, didn't even do like a little bit of like that was good. That was funny, right? Like, oh, you mean like no, no buffer, nothing. Shit in between. I, w- I could not. And then I was so mad about the bomb. I was like, all right, for the next show, I gotta retool. And uh, again, Dylan story. It ended with <laughs> Dylan story. Dunked on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> second, <laughs> second, second show came up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that scene in Space Jam yeah. with Michael Jordan for the extended song? That was me right there. That was my cock, bro. No, but it felt good because uh, after when, when, I, when I finally did some time, it felt that, good. That was my cock. I was just like, <laughs> like ah. Bro, no, but like it that. felt good because like after after I finally did some time and I did crack the room and it, you could tell it was obviously a correct hosting set. Dave Temple, as he got on stage, he was like, "There we go." I'm gonna I'm gonna tell another bombing story. So <laughs> this guy, he loves it, man. Because uh, uh, listen, should we ask Talent if he bombing bombed? is fun and oh, of course, well, Talent, you don't bomb. Your name is Talent. <laughs> also, Definitely. I mean, people who are are, are, are listening, Talent, uh, get because I mean, even for me, I I re- not recently figured this out, but like. Your father's also a comedian. Yeah, thirty years. Thirty years into the game. Yes, sir. That's like that's insane. That's a long time. Did you ever time. feel any pressure to get into comedy? I mean, uh, not like to be honest. I never. I used to grow up, and people used to always ask me like, "Are you gonna do comedy like your dad?" Course. And I used to just be like, "No, hell no," because especially because <laughs> you keep ending it with like your dad. <laughs> like, yeah, because it's like in your head, was it like, "Yeah, I'm not doing this." Also, because my dad, like, every time I see my dad on stage, it's like something, like, fucking amazing. Mm, like, he fucking wow. always... I've never seen my dad bomb. Yeah. What really? did you, like, Holy shit. What I did you want to do instead? some difficult rooms, but he, he always... He not have his headphones on that. Oh, my fault. I'm too far? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. Uh, he's, she asked a question. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what did you say, Nat? I just said, what did you... As a kid, what did you want to do instead of comedy? Shit, I thought, you know, I had my Kid fucking shit. dream. Like, I thought, everybody thought they were going to be a fucking basketball player. Lord, I thought man. I was going to be a football player. I had this little phase where I thought I wanted to be a doctor when I was watching, like, House and shit. Yeah, <laughs> me too, boy. I was like, yo, this shit. House is fire, bro. Yo, and then I, I realized, like, what you had to do to become a doctor. I'm like, mm, nah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like how talent. He goes, I watched House. Like, I can, I can walk in the room and say some slick shit. Look at leave. Omar Epps. I can do that. <laughs> you know? Just walk in the room and be like, yeah, but did you, did you check the contusion? Get the bicycle. You're like, what? What is he saying? I want to get. I want to be addicted to perks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, you want to be a torture genius right? doctor. <laughs> but um, yeah, you, were, had, you didn't feel so. You, when when did a comedy start kind of like coming to your head of like, I'll try it. So it's a funny thing. So, so I, I I've been doing comedy uh, consistently for four years. But prior to these four years, I was doing comedy five years ago. I did it for the first time in Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. So. I've been I've been rapping long before I was doing um comedy. So okay. yeah. started rapping and through rap I, I um one of my people that I grew up with in Long Island, his dad is like this uh legendary old school producer. He produced for uh De La Soul. Um he used to be a part of a group with Rizzo called the Gravediggers. So he's mm-hmm. like an old school known okay. producer and him and his uh son they they put a, together an album. I helped write some songs and they went on tour, they did a little five city tour. Whoa. He was like, Yo, do you Cause he heard that I was like um, thinking about doing comedy. He's like, "Oh, you want to open up the show like eight minutes?" Mm-hmm. And me, I'm just like, "Yeah, sure." Oh, you just shitting yeah. bricks. I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." Cause like I have, I have just anything to get on the stage. Prior to that, I maybe like hosted an event at a uh, LIU or some like some fashion show. Mm-hmm. You know, like just mm-hmm. some fake American Idol. Shit. How old are you at this time? Uh, Nineteen, probably. Wow. Okay. Cause I really yeah probably like 19, 20, 20. okay like around that age. Mm-hmm. So he says you want to open up eight minutes. Yeah, so I opened up the show. Like the show was like a a one man show. Pretty much my friend he's telling these outrageous stories, and ever so often in the story is a song. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm on the song or I help write the song or something like that. And his dad made the beats and shit. So mm-hmm. okay. I opened up, do eight minutes. Um, it was all right. Like they laughed. <laughs> okay, you Yo, know what I mean doing doing. A, I don't know how anybody opens up. For rappers, I've done. That's how I started too. Yeah. Somebody, you started not open up for rappers, but like I went to like Put two music, com like rap open mics mm-hmm. in South Florida, and in the middle of the dude that like ran, and there's all these rappers that kept going up, and he was like, 
All right, yo, we're gonna have a little halftime. Like it's a little halftime with some comedy. We're gonna break it up with some comedy. We're yeah. gonna bring this white boy in. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sitting in the back going, Why are you setting me up like this, my guy? He goes, you gotta all right. really. He goes, all right, David, you ready? David. Yo, David. Yo, where's David at? <laughs> <laughs> Calling you? <laughs> yo, David. <laughs> Yo, is he here, the comedian here? <laughs> Yo, is David the comedian here? <laughs> You're over here like, and then, and then and finally my ear picks it up. I'm over here smoking a blunt and I just, I'm like a, the most goofy voice, bro. And to this day, it, it chills me my question. Go, it's <laughs> <laughs> it. And he goes, oh, uh, uh, Dylan, give it up for Dylan. It's the most bitch he ever sounded, yeah. bro. <laughs> He's Dylan, like that. Dylan, so Dylan. Ah, ah, I want to touch you. <laughs> and dude, I went up there and just proceeded to, you know, it'd be funny if you went up there and you were like, today I found out that uh, the black way to say Dylan is David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the comedian now, you would do that. I, I, I think the, for, I think the, the, the first joke I got, I go, surprisingly not David. They went, ha, ha, ha. And then I was like, that's all I got, by the way, guys. That's oh, all I mean. That you know what? This, I, this I is like your first. I laugh about this. Did you write material for that eight minutes? I I did. I did. I wrote did some you go, shit Did down. you go to your dad and really like, help me? Or? I didn't. Did, I you, didn't. did he know? But you were aware that you had to write material, though. Yeah. 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 I, was I wasn't aware. aware. I, wasn't. I, had to write I just sent him the video after. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> Like I watch the video and it, it makes me cringe. I guess. it's on my computer, but like oh, after every time they laugh, I would be like, "Yo, that's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> Every every joke in between, yo, I'm like, crazy. yo, that's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I just had like little bro, stupid social media jokes. Bro, I got videos like that, bro. I'm like after every joke, I'm saying like, oh, that's crazy, oh. right? Like, or I'll be repeating myself. I'm like, yo. Well, oh, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I was like, yo. Y'all know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Bro, I watched you videos know? from five years ago. Like, yo, I was like, yo, you sucked, bro. Like, you really did suck, bro. Like, as much as people were like, yeah, you were funny, you sucked, bro. Like, it was bad. Yeah, it was so <laughs> funny. Someone uh, uh, this weekend, it's like older... Um, um, Milf came up to me and she goes, "That's a crazy way. I love that. Yeah. Older, older Milf, milf. Yeah. You're ready, like, milf. Yeah. Why is she a older cougar, milf? Yo. a younger Milf. I guess there could be a young Milf these days. A oh, that's true. Six year old chick with a kid. Yeah, that's my lawyer. <laughs> that's my lawyer. Johnny <laughs> Cocker in the flesh. No, uh, no. She comes up to me. She just goes. She was like, "You're so fun." You're so confident on stage. And like, I couldn't just like in my head. I was like, "Bitch, I am not confident on stage." Like, I love when people be like. Someone will be like, oh man, you're so comfortable upstage. I'm like, in your like in my head, my tics, I feel like I'm movement wise. Whereas I don't really I don't have like a oh that's crazy, man. But I'm sure I have words. Sometimes yeah. you know what that's annoying Everybody about that? But like my tick, sometimes I'm like, I'll watch my body movement. I'm like, bro, you don't look like you're comfortable. <laughs> and like and like people will be like, oh no, bro, you look but comfortable. But only you see it, yeah. It's, yeah that's yeah. what's weird is yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like with movement tics. I notice when I'm like not when I'm like oh these jokes aren't working right but they have no idea and, and you I'm know, just like awkwardly standing over them or something. My or dad tells me about the the uh, the the mic stand grab. Mm -hmm. Stop doing it. Yeah. It could be it could be a confident one, but sometimes yeah. it looks. It's in, usually insecure. not yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, There's, yeah. But, no, what's funny is um yeah. I'll do the fiddle. I'll, I like to open and close it, but that's just again that's just my OCD if tick. Look, so <laughs> for me, there's been times I'm being confident like opening and closing, and I'll talk with them while yeah. I'm like playing with something. And they're like. He's able to, like, in their heads, they're going, he can play with, like, this little object, talk, tell a story, look, and converse, know when to do it. And then there's the... For me, though... I uh, went to the store the other day. Can I tell you, for me, I, if I look at a video and I'm not performing the way I thought I looked like... Like, cause if you look mm. at people who you admire, none of them is holding on to the mic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not so Bill Burr, though. What, Bill Burr, but, like, um, apart from, but he's also, I mean... Or twenty years in, or some yeah, shit yeah, like that. Yeah. So it's you know he's not doing it because he's insecure, right? So yeah. it's you know, but it's like you watch it. I'm just like I'm not performing like the superstar comedian. I think I am. You know what I mean? Or whatever it is, or like you watch Delirious Chris. You watch how they're just on stage, just gassing, he's gassing using the Chris whole Tucker. fucking yeah, stage. Mark, you know what I mean? Just yes, and really like, gassing it, and you're just like, damn. You also, look, you look at comedians like, like like you know like Chris Rock and those snares on those giant stages when you're able to like run across to the other corner and use yeah. the entire stage. It's like what? Oh, oh, that's like, right. You're like, that's oh, right. Epps is, yeah. walking across Mike the Epps is good for uh, just a walk. Yeah. It'll just be like, yo, nigga be like this. And then he'll walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will, like, kill. That's pretty funny. Like, nah, it's, 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 uh, watching so, the tapes back. Do cool. you, do you remember, like, some of your, like, your jokes from, like, your first set? Yup, I do. Yeah. 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 I think I, I was just talking about how I could tell when, like, young girls would follow me, because... I know one joke I had was like I could tell that they're younger because they be in the picture like this or something like this. Like <laughs> you doing act outs? <laughs> yeah, I was doing like act outs. My shit was just heavy act outs. Yeah, I yeah. feel like it was just. What, me. Was, what was one of your jokes? You ever Bro. been too broke? You can't do free shit. 
that's a classic. Don't that, that, that is a low key like classic. That. That's a classic. That's a all right. Classic. Nah, my uh, <laughs> we know all, when when I, I, I just want to tell you a quick story because I know you have obviously a little your group of comedian, your friends. You guys ever like fuck with each other because you know each other's bits. Yeah, like you, obviously you know, I'm sure you know like Julio's and like like one day we were all joking with Kevin. We all just started saying his jokes like. Kind of teasing him, be like, "Yo, these are bad, ass, terrible jokes. You ever been too broke? You can't do free shit." And we started going through all his jokes, and by like the seventh or eighth one, I just go, "I mean, it is kind of wild. We know every joke of his." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, we know all his words yeah. line for line, just wow. memorable. Nah, I know, yeah. but, I know the homies bits. Uh, what I was just, one of your first jokes. One of my, fr- yo, bro. I don't know what I wrote down. I know what I went and did. Right, I remember that. He's I, like, he's like, whatever wrote down was probably better than whatever came out of my mouth. It, it, it went well, right? Uh, it went. I actually went okay. It really. It yeah, went mine well. was okay. Mine yeah. was okay. It yeah, was, mine. I know it's funny. I, I do feel think like they were fir- nice to me. My it first was, time was okay. Well, my brother was, was there, and if it went terrible, like he was, he wanted me to fail. He told me this. He goes like a year or two later. He goes, I wanted you to fail because I remember the time you told me to stop playing the trumpet because I sucked at it. <laughs> and I wanted to tell you that shit too, but you were all right. You could do this. You were better than Wait, so you there. made him give up on his trumpet dreams? Yeah, yeah. Like, like holding a grudge all these years? <laughs> grudge. Hey, nigga, I always wanted to be, I always wanted to be Jizzy Gillespie. Nigga. And you stopped me from, because, man, fuck I you. wanted you to fail. <laughs> but hey, man, you, you was actually all right. Yo, I fucked Your trumpets away. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, only bit I remember trumpet. doing really was Wisconsin. There was a, uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So there great, was a company man. in Wisconsin that <laughs> this nigga's first joke is just mad deep. <laughs> yeah. like, there was a company well, not doing yo so was there was that. a company in Wisconsin <laughs> I referenced them and cheese it was blo- yo blew their mind so it was this company in Wisconsin that uh started chipping their employees and I that shit like I, I read that I couldn't go to sleep because I knew my my first set ever in life was gonna be the next day and I just started reading through news articles and I couldn't do anything and then I started talking about that shit and I don't remember the bit, but I just remember that I was like, I'm better than a lot of people. No, nah, <laughs> I fucking bombed. What and it was, uh, but not bomb like, you know, you bombing, but you feel like I could do this shit. I didn't bomb. And then I saw Eddie Spaghetti. Like you, see I, I, you see a little daylight. Yeah. I will, I will say it was just really funny Eddie's for me scared. because I, I got to this like rapping, you know, open, not, not rap open mic, but like this rapping event. And they just agreed to have me on. Yeah. Wrote no material. And then got there, and he was like, all right, bro, you're up in like three or four. And I go, all right, cool, 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 cool. My friend goes, what are you going to say? I go, huh? Yeah. You know what? I could look up my first bit. And he goes, well, I, I, I think Robert, I have to take my notes. first one, too. No, it's in my notes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I can swipe up, too. And he goes, what are you going to say? And then me playing cards, like, man, you, you know, you'll see. How'd it go for you? And I I, had, I literally was like, you know, give me a minute. Ran around the corner and started writing shit. Like, and that was on my nobody head. Nobody just asks you. Yo, skips Mike, me and just tells I gotta, you. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I, I, we're going to get to you. I'm a good host. <laughs> Yo, I got to call my character right now. Oh, okay. Uh, should I call him on a pod? No. Not at all. Bit? I'm assuming it's, oh, it's a work shit. call. Even, was my yeah. One People the, are dropping at an alarming rate. Yeah, right? Natalie, <laughs> going. shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, I don't know. One of my early bits, it was, I, and it was so funny because when I did that bit, I thought it, I thought it was good, and then it, you, 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 you want to hear the bit? You want to? Yeah, sure. But I saw this in some. I saw this bit like a year later in someone special. Yeah, and I couldn't believe. It. I was like, that's such a like that's parallel a pretty bad joke. No, I don't know if it was parallel thinking. I just know I had never seen. It was in Marlon. It was Marlon Wayne who like who, like said it. You know what I mean? Uh, but um, he had well, never. I never seen him do a special. It. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Oh, that's your joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, really I'm not saying it. it's mine, but that that was a joke. That was one of the first jokes I told that's on stage. That's a street joke. That I didn't know it was though because I didn't say what, that. Black don't. No, black don't crack unless you smoke it. You know what I mean? Okay, it was, yeah, yeah okay. but I didn't really, I thought that, I thought about that. You know what I mean? But he just said it on stage. But even still, the fact that he said it, I was like, I actually thought that was a joke that he wouldn't tell because I thought it was such a like. Dirty a little. No, like yeah. just like, you, the oh, fact that I thought about it, like, well, you know, like a couple months of the comment, I was like, this joke has to suck. Like it's a, yeah. it's a sucky joke. And I tried that joke two more times after that and I bombed the third time. It, it, it was the first two times I went up. It was great. The third time I bombed. I didn't do comedy for eight months. <laughs> when do you feel? You, when do you feel you for, finally for like, like, six, like six months? Because um, I know your, your dad does uh like monthly shows, like uh, in um New Jersey. My dad's just all over. He's just be up and down. Yeah, the the say, is, was it ever weird for you? Because for me, it's almost like rebellious. I, like I like ran away from my family and I was like, I'm gonna go do this weird artsy thing and talk about you guys. <laughs> 
But like you ever have you you the public perform around your dad more often than than not. Like yeah. your dad probably has this like he'll see a bit you ever like maybe not wrote a bit about him, but you ever feel like fuck man, like wish I could ever just like write away from you. Like like do practice like I mean I for the most part I'm doing my own thing. Like I my dad my dad has booked me for gigs, but pretty much I do my own like I've made my own Oh no, hundred percent I'm, you know saying, what I'm saying is your uh I feel like if I feel like if my son was like in comedy, I would really be like, "Oh, bro, what new joke you wrote? What, what, any, any new jokes?" I mean, What's you don't. It's, it's not like that, but it's like when I do perform, he'll he'll throw me a tag. Mm -hmm. He'll be like, "Yo," because I I have this like R. Kelly bit that I've been like uh, doing and shit like that. So there's like a song that I use. He's like, "Yo, you should actually use this song. I think it'll be more funny if you mm -hmm. use." Mm -hmm. And I switched it to that song, and then it's like it's kind of like I'm like, "Okay, that shit." Like little just. I think it's just cool because for me, shit. I didn't know where to start when I came here, so I had to take comedy class. It's kind of cool that you were like, oh, let me just call Pops, I guess. So he never really forced, not forced comedy onto you, but he was Nah, like, it was me. I I started, he told me that he waited until I got a year in before he was actually like a little bit like hands-on with me. He wanted to make sure it was something I was course, serious about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to, you know, people, I'm pretty sure he's met so many people who start doing comedy for a year. You meet people like that still. You're just like, All right, if, how do you get started? I'm like, bro, first get started and mm -hmm. then ask for the advice. I, you know, so you know you're that serious about it, yeah. I like read. I've read like so many books about stand up and shit like that. And like, bro, I listen stand up classes. I dropped out of school like three times. I was not about to take a stand up class. Yeah, I wasn't about to do comedy to go to yeah, school but, again. Like, you know what that, I mean? that, that, <laughs> we said that on the podcast. Uh, I think we said that recently, where we were um, Kevin and I were talking about reading the comedy bible, and it tells you to like do like I guess he. That's he one of my favorite books. He looked up excerpts like out of it. And excerpts. He was, uh, uh, thank ex you. Ex excerpts. Excerpts. <laughs> You're an ex curb enthusiast. He was thinking about his ex's curbs. No, right. damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but the, like, what the what did the third passage say, Kevin, in the comedy bible? <laughs> it was like something like, uh, "Do all these fucking workouts." Right, fifty jokes, yada yada yada, right, and then all these exercises, and then they go. The fifth page is like, all right, if you did this, you're gonna be kind of like this level of comedian, this level of comedian. Then the next page goes, and if you didn't do any of it, you're already a comedian. That's my <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I didn't even read that fucking book, and I'm just like, I'm not doing none of that. Shit, bro. I, was like, I want that. Bro. I will never buy this book. <laughs> never, bro. Although Eddie Spaghetti did hard sell me on his book. <laughs> you did buy a book. I buy a man named Eddie Spaghetti. How do you feel about like reading about stand up and like? Just I bro, for me like so because I look at stand up so I think about right I mean people might but I think about myself as an artist right and I look at comics people who write and express themselves as artists you can't give me bind you can't give me like these side blocks and be like this is how you do it because it's called style and it's called your showmanship right so so in my head I don't think about it as like I should read books about, I can understand like, I just I just listen to comedians who do it, talk about it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, okay, I've thought about that, oh, I never thought about that, oh, that's interesting, but I'm not, when it comes to, I'm very like, your perspective as a person creating is your perspective, just master expressing it, and then that's your shit. I think comedians are pretentious, and mm -hmm. myself included. Not all, though, and, I'm, I'm uh, a little No, I think, but I think when you start like writing a book about, like even, like I'm telling you right now, talent, I'm going to write a book about myself one day. And it's going to be the most pretentious book, but there's an audience for it. You're going to call it David. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead. That, that'll be in parentheses. Be it's like, Dylan. 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 Oh, my God. Um, no, but I think it's like, I, I think, I don't, I don't, I barely read in general. But reading about comedy isn't just. I'd rather talk to comedians and kind of take what I go. Oh, maybe that's truth. Maybe that's not. I feel like I've learned a lot more just from like even like older comics where you're like, let me just like. I said this Kevin before. I was like, people will tell you if you don't even ask. Comedians mm -hmm. will just start telling you things. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this, you're a young comic. And you're like, how do you get the keys from older comics? Say nothing. Chill there. Be able to smoke weed, drink a beer. Every comedian will start being like. Yeah, man, you know, this person, books here, sucks, so you gotta talk to this girl, talk to that girl, she'll get you an audition, and you're like, oh, I have, I didn't even say anything. So I feel like, you know, like, I don't know, I feel like, I, I don't really, like, reading about comedy, I feel like it's just the definition I, of pretentious. I, uh, well, that's I one way think, to look I at it. Really I don't think it's pretentious, I just think if you want the information, I, I get it, you know. I think that, uh, I hate starting any sentence before I think, but... 
I liked when someone else reads about it and it informs me about what they read. Right? You're lazy. I'm lazy. <laughs> you, you, right? But that's how I no, learned. Cliff notes. Secondhand information. Yeah. yeah. I learn better from secondhand yeah. information. By the way, some people would say that's like lazy. No, no, that's what that's what bosses do. That's what a boss does. A boss has people that does all the general reading for him, brings him the cliff notes, the main points. You're a boss. But if we're honest about if we're being honest about books here, guys, it's a lot of filler. It's yeah, a lot of reiteration. Come on, bro. I can't even it's, it's a like, lot of reiteration. Like how do people read fiction? How do people read fiction? Like Leo, who's the one who told me I should read a comedy bible because he doesn't need the comedy bible. I I I stand by the comedy bible. I get what you're saying. I get what you guys are saying. I don't think you can teach anybody how to be funny. No, but you can teach you can you learn can, technique. I think yeah. every stand up does set up and punchline. Yeah, that's how I Whether started. traditional or you have Some... your mic apps, you have your Seinfelds, everybody is doing set up punchline. And mm -hmm. like when I read the comedy Bible and I was able to like just identify different elements of stand up mm -hmm. and like I was like, oh, so that's oh, so that's a, a one liner. Mm -hmm. That's a. And I was able to like recreate some of the things that I was naturally just instinctually yeah. doing as, you know. Now like you know a person, why you're a funny doing person, it. you know what I mean? But that, you see what I'm doing? Your nature was putting you in the way to write the jokes that you were. Then you read the comedy. You were like, oh, I'm kind of already doing that. I didn't know what a misdirection was. Yeah. All I was trying to do when I was writing jokes is like, if I can hide the punchline as much as possible, tuck the punchline, and then bring it out at the end, I could get a surprise and get a pop laugh. You know what I mean? Putting the funniest shit at the end. That was just big. Yeah. That's that was, really one of the biggest things. I put yeah. funny at end. <laughs> that was just like all my brain was. It was like, say words. And then shock them, <laughs> <laughs> explode their minds. Yo, Dylan would be like, "Yo, these are my jokes." I look at his phone. I'd be like, Gee, "I can't even read this, bro." <laughs> it was like splat, bro. It was like just word splat. Crazy. Um, guys, this is dope up and dying. Oh, this Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. show. This is the round table of fuckery. Thank you for joining us for another week. Everyone that subscribed this past week, thank you so much. Everyone that's came and checked out the podcast in the past couple of weeks, thank you so much. Appreciate keep watching, keep commenting, keep following. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. And guys, oh wait, before we leave, let's go around the table one more time. Talent, tell people where to find you. You can find me uh, Instagram, Twitter at Talent Harris. Um, yeah, I got a podcast. I'm not very consistent. I uh, just made nine episodes. I started this shit in 2020. So it's not a podcast. That's a, that's a season. That's, that's a, yeah. That's a TV show. It's very uh, very lax. Um, but yeah, you can find that on um, everything you, everywhere you can find what podcasts. It called? It's called the Friends with Talent Show. Hey, nice. So, yeah, I just talk with my friends. Kevin Sanchez. You know? uh, ITS Kevin Sanchez. Uh, Papa Sanchez on Twitter. Bad Scouts. Actually, it's not even out yet. So yeah. <laughs> Follow and, me on my socials. And the third mic of the podcast. Honestly, what people say in the comments, the most important mic of the podcast. We got to get you on the Instagram. Natalie DeChico. Natalie. I knew that was Tell us your place. That's what we call misdirection, people. Misdirection. Misdirection. Right, right, right. He just hey, did hey, it. Hey, it's so, one of his first so, ones ever. You know, but. A, <laughs> so funny at the end. Blow their minds. Thank God, though, because I don't want to plug again. Yeah, but it's still here. Um, oh, that's not my camera. Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. Natalie, and, was, that, uh, was that you doing blackface? That was just a black oh screen. God, that's so How dare you? Um, that was awful. That's it. Don't try to follow my public, uh, private Instagram. Yo, Natalie's voice does you. not match the way she looks. I know, right? I get that a lot. <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> That's it. This is <laughs> Natalie, if you didn't catch it, he said, you're beautiful. The voice needs work. Uh, <laughs> or he said the opposite, so who knows? Talent, mm -hmm. we'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> All right, follow me at DC <laughs> Dungeon. That's it. I'm not, I'm not plugging anymore. DC you're not going to plug? It. No, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. That's you, you're done, Oxtail? I'm you done, I'm done plugging off. Mungu and Oxtail. All right, Mungu, <laughs> Oxtail, Ice Water. I don't, whatever I say, they're gonna get mad. Young Jay Z, take us out, home. Take us out, take us out. Take us out, Jay Z. I wanted you to say another black food. I wanted you to do another black food. Come on, come on, give me a black food. Guys, see you next week. Come on, guys. Thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe, follow, and make sure to go to the new YouTube page, Dope Up Podcast on YouTube. We'll give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the doped up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell.